everybody, my name is Markiplier, and it's time for another episode of 10-Minute Testing. How's everybody doing here tonight? I'm having a good old wacky Wednesday. I had so much shit to do today, man, and I got like 80% of it done. Some days I get like 20% of what I want done. Those days are, you know, that's one thing. Sometimes I get 100% of what I, I want to get done done. Those don't happen too often. But it's the days I get 80 that really irritate me because I was so fucking tantalizingly close. And I just think if I had woken up a couple of hours earlier, if I stay up a little longer after stream, maybe I can just get everything done at once. But it never works out that way. It never works out that way. Can you start streaming earlier? Unfortunately, the rate at which I'm current stre currently streaming is the maximum amount I can stream. Sorry, you look really tired. Hey, fuck you too, asshole. What the fuck? Who says that? It's probably because the, the lights are pretty low. Let me turn the lights up. Who looks tired now, huh? I look normal. Um, video is so good, you might cause a buyout of Arsenal Falcon. Well, I risk taker. I have terrible news about Arsenal Falcon. It's already a little expensive. Currently about a $7 card, which I think is probably the ceiling on a card like that. While it only has one printing, it's uh, printing in a set where it was very widely available. So um, it's just going to be that price, I think. A little under $10 um, forever. Uh, but I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I will say uh, I uh, you're looking ready to win an Ultimate Time Wizard tournament. I was up till 2.30 last night uh, because um, Alex had to go get uh, a friend for this weekend and uh while he was waiting around for their flight to come in we were jamming dueling book uh fun. and holy shit the pe man not to toot my own horn but i'm in a position now where i don't think i'm getting anything out of playing randos on dueling book <laughs> like i gotta be i gotta be scrimming like the, the fucking <laughs> just loaded against like someone who's like all right time to play the worst deck you've ever seen or like i'm playing a good deck very badly it's like oh i really don't want to get a skewed perspective of this um, it, it's crazy just how different the experience of Dueling Book is the second you are playing a format that has a ladder. Like, the Edison ladder, in my opinion, was just so good because it's just a mechanism by which you can ensure you are going to be playing against a player that at least has some modicum of skill, which is not something you can guarantee at all times playing other formats. I feel so bad for people trying to play, like, Meadowlands and, like, sitting in a 45-minute queue just to load in and someone activates, like, a uh, fucking normal summon... Uh, one of the Trap Tricks monsters and Link Off for Sarah. Are you talking about Tengu Plant? I'm happy to test later. Uh, I think I've done all the testing that I feel comfortable doing. Um, we're meeting up with some high-level players uh, this weekend. I'm going to spend some time scrimming. Uh, and then we're going to run the fucking event. I'm, I'm super excited. Um, knock on wood, I do feel really good about it. I feel more prepared for this event than any other event I've ever been to, including the one where uh, Jesse helped me out on... Um, uh, Rescue Ace. I And I think that... Uh, I don't know where Alex is at. I think he's a little frustrated just because of the way GOAT as a format has shaken out, but I know I know Gage is feeling similarly. Gage is, uh, Gage is, Gage is looking tight. Who's your team? It's Alex and Gage and me. But um, I was really concerned when we were doing uh, Advanced because, you know, Alex hasn't played Advanced in four years, and I love Gage, but he just can't get back into Advanced. He, it just sucks too bad. And... Uh, I was a little concerned, and then they announced the Ultimate Time Wizard, and all three of us were like, we gotta fucking jump ship, baby. Do they need to do really good for you to place well? Um, so the way a 3v3 works is two out of the three of us have to win for us to win the round. It's crazy how Edison proved people just wanted any alt format and GOAT is dog shit. You know, I think that might be true, but I also think that Edison, legitimately, the more I play alt formats, the more I realize Edison is like, it is a miracle that it exists. Like, it is legitimately miraculous that a format that good exists. I, I used to be like, the reason we play formats like Edison and Yu-Gi-Oh! is because we're hungry for anything. But like, Edison is like better than like, I would say 95% of, like, magic formats I've played. It literally is just, like, the greatest format of all time. And it also is the second alt format that took off, you know? Ugh. They are a match for each, uh, Hyro Space. Um... I, like, I, we were, that old format video, I just was realizing I'm like, all these formats are worse than Edison. Not a single one of these formats is better than Edison. 
What's your favorite Magic the Gathering format? Rebels block constructed. <laughs> I don't know. What, what is my favorite Magic format? Um, so shitty to say, but in RTR standard is still just so goaded. So fucking goaded. Siege Rhino Modern? Oh, man. No, the format... So there was a format in Modern where the top four decks were... Um, Blue Red Delver, Affinity, Pod, and Scapeshift. The format that immediately preceded that format was my favorite modern format of all time. When are you going to be in a TCC vid? Whenever he hits me up, baby. I'd love to work with TCC. Huge inspiration. Giga fan. Ugh. But I, I am, at the end of the day, a Yu-Gi-Oh player. Hi, Dyer. How are you doing? The Spice 8 Rack Cons of Tarkir video. I swear, there was a point in my life where two roads diverged in a yellow wood. And it was, you can either become the MBT you are today or become Spice 8 Rack exactly. And I took, I took the path most traveled. <laughs> Ugh. You're almost as big as Ego Raptor. Uh, they calling me Ego Raptor because my ego the size of a raptor. Chose wrong? Nah. I don't think so. I think what's becoming clear is uh, this is a st stupid thing to talk about, but the the prevalence of the online essayist in like the 2017-18 climate made people think that like it's hard but the short of it is that the way algorithm works most online essays about stuff are just like a really bad research paper like a research paper that doesn't need to be reviewed in any sort of capacity spice a rack is one of the very few people putting out watchable research papers <laughs> but uh <laughs> you know what I'm saying the only good one is folding ideas you know it is oh man the Dan the Dan Olson videos it's like no it can't be anyone you do need to have a sort of academic understanding of what research looks like you do need to, like there was one that was like it's crazy that like Dan Olson will talk about the financial system and uh uh, nostalgia critics the wall with the same sense of like uh, importance and I remember reading that and I was like well why shouldn't he asshole you were tricked into thinking that we shouldn't treat cultural barometers like nostalgia critics the wall with any sort of um, academic uh, curiosity by dog shit video essayists who throw up a summary of the Kirby games and go, uh, this proves that Nintendo is actually very deep when you think about it. The general rule, though, is that those don't play on YouTube very well because of the way the algo works. Uh. Yeah. Dan Olson has a theology background, which explains a lot. That's the that's the um, the the really unfortunate part is a lot of. A lot of the like essayist YouTubers started out as researchers who then made YouTube essays. And the ones that are unwatchable to me are the YouTubers who dabbled in research. <laughs> like bred from birth to be a fucking algorithmic demon. Ugh. I don't know. I've been thinking a lot about just sort of YouTube in general. I'm always thinking about YouTube. You know, it's my job. But, uh, 
I don't know if you feel this way, and it's something that I'll, I'll aim to start changing in the future, but I feel like so much of YouTube is so samey. Like, it feels like a lot of people talk about how, um, like, getting rich on YouTube is like a one-in-a-million type of uh, completely uh, random event. But I, I feel like it's the opposite. I feel like it is too clear what you have to do to get popular on YouTube. And I think, you know, smart people who want to get popular on YouTube and make a quadrillion dollars are doing it. They are aping the Mr. Beast style of editing. They are uh, straddling the line of being for kids while not getting sorted into YouTube kids. And they're making a fucking mint doing it. And it means that all of these uh, writers and editors and videographers who are taking cues from the most popular and um, uh, lucrative uh, creators on the platform uh, are just regurgitating the same type of kind of shitty ass video. Even if the video is good, I don't want all of YouTube to look like it. It's baseball. People have figured out the math, and there's an argument it's ripping the soul out of the industry, but it's their fault for doing things correctly. No, no, no. Don't get me wrong. I have no malice for the people who are doing that. I'm saying the consequence of that is that all YouTube videos feel like the same YouTube video. It'd be like if the Olympics was just 45 separate wrong. baseball events. I don't know. And I think there's subtle ways to change it. I don't think, like, necessarily if my videos stop being edited a certain way, they will be so hated by the algorithm algorithm that they, uh, they won't see play at all. So, I want to try out new things. Step one is firing wrong. dire. That's not true. I was just, I thought she was here. I was trying to yell at her. She is, I am, fuck you. How will Dyer pay her taxes? Same way she currently does, by not paying them. <laughs> Ugh. Taxes, when are they due? You're fucking with me, Dyer. April 15th, you know this. You know, there was a guy who used to show up to my streams called the IRS Watches Your Twitch. And the y the the months that he was in, we did get audited. And I was like, you know, I wonder. Was it? <laughs> doing a, a parasocial audit. Could you imagine working for the IRS? You know, I hate to be like this. I'm very pro IRS. I think every IRS person that works there is stronger than God. I think like a functioning IRS is probably important for like civil society. And if you ever talk to someone who works for the IRS, um, they're working on like Apple two C's. They like, they're working with like, because it's such a, a disastrous political maneuver to give money to the IRS because people don't want to hear, oh, the tax collector has got more money. Uh, so they're working on like hardware that's like 40 years old because <laughs> that was the last time they had money. Postal service, man. Postal service is crazy, because, like, how do you hate the postal service? I like them. <laughs> they bent my cards. That's fair. Ugh. <sighs> 
Anyway, um... Spend most of today putting the finishing touches on that Raid Raptor video. The response to that has been really heartening. I really appreciate that. I, um... That video, oh, I was really scared to upload, but it, it was a combination of uh, effort from me, um, but a lot of effort from Dimax specifically. Uh, his socials and links are all in that video, and I really would appreciate if you take some time to give him some love. Uh, the videos that he makes are like old world TMTs, back when I would just throw up the Edo Pro and talk into an internal mic. Um, I He... He does really good work, and it helps that he knows how to play Raid Raptor. But I was, um, I was just so blown away by the theory involved in that deck. Just like the... Because it is so easy to find a Raid Raptor list that just does DDD, Duo, Dawn King, Kali Yuga. And I could have uploaded that in a fucking... <laughs> in, in four days. It would have looked exactly the same as the Gold Pride Vampire one and gotten 90% of the views. But I'm, I'm so happy that, that Dimax Max was able to help me out. He was uh, a godsend. And I really do like the list. The problem is, I mean, the, the deck is still impossible to play. It's so hard. You are going to make the cards spike. There's nothing to spike. The only card that would be worth money is um, uh, Arsenal Falcon, which is already worth money. It's It's been climbing forever. It, it already uh, spiked when it was announced there would be Raid Raptor shit in Phantom Nightmare, and it hasn't come down since. It's about a $10 card. Did we cut the five-minute Ash Blossom talk? Yeah, and we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it a little. Um... But I've decided I want to fold that more yeah, over into a video. I And I want the video to be more general. Not necessarily why Ash Blossom is bad, but why it's important to be kind of challenging your assumptions that cards like Ash Blossom are just good in all scenarios, right? And hopefully that'll come out nice. But that's something that I want to get done. Ugh, I want to get it done soon because this format is when it matters. But I don't want to get it done so soon that I have to write it this week. We'll see where we uh, where we end up tomorrow. I like to write things in school when I'm supposed to be taking notes. What makes Raid Raptor so difficult? Oh, how do I answer that question? Um, you can like Snake Eye. You can play out a combo in a bunch of different ways. You know, Snake Eye is a combo deck that uh, can play a million different ways, but has to hit a number of very specific. Uh, points Like, you have to activate the effect of Snake Eye Ash. You have to get a Flamberge into the graveyard. And you have to do the IP to, uh, to Princess to Flamberge thing, right? But the other stuff that you can do, that you do, you can do in any order you want, in any sequence you want, with any number of cards that you want, right? And Raid Raptor is very similar in that, like, you have to resolve the effect of Arsenal Falcon. You have to use uh, Brave Strix and Wise Strix to get some rank up magics. And... Uh, you have to get the material necessary to lead like Raider's Knight, right? And uh, that's it. Uh, however, there's a million ways to do that. And um, what, like one of the most interesting things I learned, uh, like solitaring the deck a little, is just how difficult it is to resolve the effect of Tribute Lanius. Like, Tribute Lanius is one of the hardest cards to play in the deck. Uh, because you can send Fuzzy, you can send Mimicry, and sometimes you send something like a Raider's Wing. Like, it's just like, there's so many lines enabled by this specific card, and each enable you to play around different hand traps or different board breakers from your opponent. Like, in game one, you play a certain way, and then in game two, you're like, all right, you expect to see, like, super polymerization or something. You play completely differently. It's just, it is a really, really complex deck, and um, it's very rewarding, um, and for that reason, I think that it will not see any play. I think the, the reason that... It's so funny. Like, one of the selling points for the deck is the... Re like, why would you ever play this deck over Snake Eye, which rewards you so much more for so much less brain power? That was wrong. Because it's cool. I mean... You know, it is fucking cool. It is... I don't know what I could say here. The commenters have been lovely, by the way. 
I think I oh we'll VIP Dimax yeah I think the the reason that uh the commenters have generally been pretty good about it is because I was really concerned because the Raid Raptor commenters in the past have been kind of hit or miss but I think everyone just understands that like it helped a lot that, that you wrote that article and we were able to, to pull a lot of shit from it but uh it um I think people are starting to get it you know I I, I complained about this in a previous um uh like video on it, it went up uh in the uh the twitter thread last week but the concept that people look at a deck and try to reduce it to the most powerful like ne generic negation tool that it can play and i think people in the wake of a format that includes snake eye and uh snake eye fire king um right after a format that included unchained pearly uh race and tier uh, you know, four decks that had maybe a negate that between the four wrong. of them, I think um, are coming to the conclusion that Yu-Gi-Oh! doesn't work like that anymore. And probably never worked like that. But conceptualizing it along completely different lines is, is going to be important, and engaging with content that does so is, is part of being competitive. And so, I think that, uh, I, I think that, I think it came out alright. Um, I liked it a lot. Uh, and I, I, Again, can't recommend the uh, the article series that Dimax has been doing more, and it's just been so nice in the wake of that discussion of like there's really not competitive tools. Seeing like four or five creators just start making competitive tools, <laughs> I hope to add to it. I'm gonna throw this Ash Blossom video up. Ugh. Even the Savage Apo Snake Eye combo fell off. It's so funny because day one people are like, you don't understand, you can make Apo on your opponent's turn. And I remember being like, why would you? What is that doing? Oh my god, oh thank god, Apolosa. My problems are solved. <sighs> that was wrong. Ugh. I don't know. I've been having um, I've been having a lot of <laughs> I've been having a lot of fun playing Yu-Gi-Oh recently, and uh, after this weekend, I, I intend to really jump into uh to modern, or to uh to advanced. I also want to play Goblino. This is like a very Goblins is Goblins is weird because it's it's not a good deck, but it is a very that locals coded deck. It's like you look at these cards and you're like, oh, this shit is gonna go crazy at locals. I can just smell that this is gonna go off at locals. Gabonga. Have you heard of Mind Goblin? He's my favorite one. Play him alongside the uh, the pair of spheres that Gage pulled. Ugh. I did like that uh, that post that uh, the goblins above goblins below goblins post because it got circulated among magic Twitter and they were like this also applies to magic people and so they started retweeting it and it was very funny because I saw so many magic people do the exact same thing which is uh, they clicked the image scrolled down to where I posted big gabonga and they went there is a Yu-Gi-Oh card called Goblin Big Gabonga <laughs> and like loved it. They were so they were like Big Gabonga. Holy shit. Not Big Gabonga. It's such a good goblin name. Uh, uh, Big Gabonga. I think that the other thing is like <laughs> every person I've heard say it with that inflection has said Big Gabonga just like that. And while some of it, I think, is probably because I did that in the TMT, I think that people have independently said it that way. It's just like you look at it and you're like, oh, yeah, that's how it's pronounced is Big Gabonga. <laughs> how else could you say it? That's what I'm saying. Oh, do we have a good Twitter thread plan for today? It's number 100. Oh, we don't. 100 Twitter threads. Maybe we can get the Poopsmith to break his vow of silence. All right, we've been chilling on this train for a while. We don't have a lot of Twitter freaks, but I do want to do them. Is everybody ready? <clears throat>
<clears throat> I'll play. I'll play the fucking thing. Hold up. Oh, why'd you go and say that? This website was a mistake. Yeah. All right. We got some bangers. We got some goofs. We got some gaffs. We got some spoofs and some laughs. Do you remember when H3H3 Ethan talked like that? Now he's like some sort of clout goblin. Goblin big gabonga. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna begin with this. This was this one really set me off. Getting PTSD from eating from reading other people's group project conversations. This account, by the way, Hispanic Sean King is what a good name. Uh, has anybody else worked on the paper? Yes. I work on the conclusion part in the Google document. I fun. actually withdrew, left the conversation, just submitted our final paper. Hopefully for the final presentation, we can be more collaborative. Cecilia, I couldn't include your SWOT analysis conclusion because it was completely plagiarized. Okay. Thanks a lot. <sighs> yeah. Group projects, man. I... Oof. I... I the one really painful group project I was a part of... Um. I was so frustrated because uh, it was like three people. It was for geology. And I was not a geologist. I was taking rocks for jocks, basically. But day one, the professor was like, I know this is a 100 level class. I'm going to teach it like a 200 level class. And I was like, no, you the f no, the fuck you are not. And he did. And um, it was really hard. Everyone else in the class was a geology major. And they all knew each other. Small school. All the geology kids stuck together. So they throw me in one of the groups. And so I'm like, hey, just so you all know, I'm not a geology person. I actually have a ton of out-of-school commitments because I'm in the theater department. And they said, that's okay. We can work around you. That was a lie. Um, they scheduled a whole bunch of meetings. And I was like, hey, just so you know, this is a time I can't come. You know, here, here's my availability. None of you can make these times. They just wouldn't respond. And so it's the week of the project. And I have not contributed anything. They've never asked me to contribute anything. Um, but I haven't done anything. And so I'm, I'm texting them. I'm like, do you guys need me to do anything? Like, what the fuck is going on? The night before, they're like, hey, could you do XYZ slides? And I'm like, uh, sure. And so I throw together some slides. Um, I put them in, in like this big Google Doc. And it's like the conclusionary slides, right? So then the next day we get up to present and we're present. I had, they had not discussed with me how we were going to present, but they were presenting in order. Like one person would do four, then one person would do four. And I'd be like, okay, this is easy. When it gets to my four, I'll just present those. And they get to my four and the person before me continues talking over my slides. And I'm like, wait, so I'm just standing up here for 30 minutes and I'm going to say nothing. And so we finish and then we all sit down and I had to go after class with the professor and be like, just so you know, like I wrote the last four slides. I'm sorry. I know it looks like I didn't do fucking anything and I'm the only non-geologist here. It looks like I'm just trying to sleep through class. And um, he was like, that's okay. I understand. But he didn't understand. I did end up dropping that class because it was moving too fast for me. I didn't have the foundational geologic knowledge that everyone else had. You actually withdrew. This is me, yeah. This is me right here in the middle. Geologist, man. I I don't blame him. You know, geology to 100 classes have got to be hell because it's it's almost always rocks for jocks. It's like a bunch of fucking morons and then like two people who actually care about the 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 science. But, you know, someday you're the rock and someday you're the jock. Next up. I fucking love this. The craziest part of this is that <laughs> I immediately knew the BGM. I was like, that is disbelief papyrus. 
it took me one second to figure it out. <laughs> this comes from a like an edgy it wasn't even a mod. It was like a like an what if in Undertale Papyrus was the last guy alive instead of Sans. This would be his Megalovania and someone was like, "Oh yeah, I'll write that." and just like threw it together and I'll be honest with you, it sounds like shit. It sounds really bad. But just by virtue of being like the that first of those sort of like AU Undertale type things, uh it it got canonized. <laughs> No, it's goaded. Oh, okay. Yeah. It isn't even originally an Undertale thing. They just stole the song from SoundCloud. Thank you so much for telling me that. <laughs> I immediately believe it. I, that's bullshit, but I believe it. Ugh. How old were you when Undertale came out? Young. I was very young. Uh, I must have been 20. Yeah. It's almost a decade old, right? So yeah, 20. <laughs> Came out in 2015. 19. I was two. I was 13. Okay. I don't need to hear from any of you anymore. Next up. <laughs> The CEO of Tumblr, which I have to imagine is the world's most profitable uh, company at the moment, is currently having a something awful mod level public meltdown trying to flame war his own users. All right, so let's just something awful mentioned. When I see something like the CEO is having a something awful style, I'm like, yeah, public meltdown. Oh, Elon Musk is having a something awful style. Yeah. Argument. Oh. Right. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh. I have a number of asks about this, so this is going to address all of them. I won't do each individually. Uh, we generally do not comment on individual cases, but because there seems to be mass misinformation around this, I will make an exception and comment on predstrogen. First, Tumblr has a number of LGBT+, plus, including trans people on staff, and they see things from the inside fully, and they're not protesting this case. Why do we wrongly have a transphobe reputation? We did have an external contact moderator last year that was making transphobic moderation. Oh, uh, that's why. <laughs> as soon as we were aware, that person was fired, and we later terminated the relationship with that contracting firm and brought everything in-house at great cost. Legal action is totally fine. Please go ahead if that's what you need to do to settle this misinformation. We have receipts, logs, everything. Do you not believe there were threats of violence and we just made that up? I'm not going to post every single violation or make any more exceptions in this case. You asked for an example. I gave one example. I don't think we're going to change any minds at this point. If you truly believe myself and the entire staff to be guilty of transphobic misogyny, you're free to export your blog and find another free or paid service. I would not patronize a business I thought was transphobic. Ah, sorry, I missed the first part of the post where it says I hopes I die forever in a painful death involving a car covered in hammers that explodes more than a a few times and the hammers go flying everywhere folks all i have to say is if you are a ceo keep posting like this you have to it is your duty to the rest of the c-class you have to put you have a fiduciary duty again i am not a lawyer to post this way <laughs> oh man what do you think culture is like at Tumblr? Like, what do you think the work culture is? <laughs> do you think you have to be part of, like, the world's worst Silicon Valley polycule? <laughs> oh, man. Not, not good. Not good. When they hit you with the, you're free to use another forum, that's when you know you're in for some good-ass shit. Uh... I am not aware of any automatician people who work at Automatic and Tumblr who made any transphobic moderation actions. He gave all his employees gay little nicknames because his name is Matt. <laughs> oh. The company is named after him. The Irish subsidiary is called fucking Automatic. <laughs> 
the, I, I, CEOs are so smart, dude. So smart. Oh man. This guy is perfect for Tumblr. He is. Regrettably, he's the perfect, the perfect combination of unable to just keep moving and soy for Tumblr. Read the last reply. You got it. I think this guy probably was just like an empty shell in a lab somewhere before the 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 spirit of Tumblr filled him. I'm continuing to get harassment and death threats here in a way that is overbearing to the account. It's hard for me to deal with this with the team behind me. If nothing else, this has given me a lot of empathy for how pylons must be totally unmanageable for users with the interface of Tumblr. <laughs> Whose fault is that? Especially the lack of basic things like bulk actions that have been in WordPress for a decade plus. As far as I'm aware, improving moderation tools both for staff and regular users wasn't on Tumblr's roadmap when I left, but I hope this raises awareness within the team. When I'm back to work in May, this will definitely be on my mind, as well as if we should continue to invest in tumblr at all if it's going to harbor such toxicity and harassment well maybe maybe i'll just leave huh maybe i'll just shut the whole thing down if you all hate me so much maybe i'll just go fucking die is that what you all want oh, well i mean <laughs> oh man this guy will be running for the dnc spot in 2032 I, i'll vote for him i'm i'm voting for this guy <laughs> he will automatically win Next up. Okay, this one has a stylized titty on it, so you're just going to have to believe me when I say this is okay on, on uh, Twitch.tv. All right, this should be archived as the perfect example of the Twitter experience in 2024. Okay, so let me just explain. I've suffered enough this week. Let me give you an overview of this. So there was a day and a half of discourse about this manga called My Lesbian Experience with Loneliness, which is kind of about like, it's about like, I'm putting the titty off the screen for a second. Um, it's kind of about like, um, uh, it, it's like a coming of age story. It's like an LGBTQ awakening story. Um, but largely it's just, it's, it's about the horrors of living and, and uh, knowing and being known. It's, it's, you know, and it's a foundational work in that genre, you know? Um, so someone, hi, oh, thank you for the food. So someone posts about how much they like this thing, right? It is, it is also uh, autobiographical. Um, and, uh, so <laughs> this person's talking about how good it is and how it helped them or something. And here's what we got. So y'all going to gloss over the incest. All right. What's being referred to here is a sequence of panels in which um, this person kind of thinks about their relationship with their mother and how that maybe influenced their uh, sexuality and maybe that they're overreacting for that reason and they had a desire to be held as a child. And it's very just like Freudian type shit. Like very honestly, I hate to be like this. Very pedestrian. It's normal. Um, but the response is she literally just wants a woman to hold her during sex. And she wonders if it was because she wasn't held as a child. Calm the fuck down. And this person with a Pomni avatar responds. So when a woman wants to be held and loved in that way, it's normal. But when a dude wants the exact same thing, he is a creep with mommy issues. Got it, chief. <laughs> just a, just a perfect Twitter reply. The number one Twitter reply. The response. When did I say anything about men? And the response, my Pussy in bio. This is just what being on this fucking website is like. I really liked this work. It was important to me. Have you considered the work is problematic? Actually, it isn't. Here's a here's a description about why it isn't. Oh, so when uh, a girl wants nuance, that's okay. But when a guy wants nuance, I guess they should just die. No. Don't miss the drop. Pussy coin out tomorrow. Man. <laughs> the, see, I want to plug Blue Sky, but this is what being on Blue Sky is like, too. It's just the last the last one isn't there. This is just what being online is like. People people just, they, they don't know how to talk to each other. Ugh. Next up. Ugh. Okay, so uh, ChatGPT became sentient yesterday. That's not true. So, um... Uh, there are two different chat GPTs, if you're unfamiliar. Um, there's chat GPT 3.5, which is the free version you can access online. And there's chat GPT 4, which requires a paid subscription and is a lot more powerful. Um, 
Yesterday, individuals using ChatGPT4 found that it wasn't working perfectly. Now, I know what you're thinking. It wasn't working perfectly before. It was giving, like, false answers, making up things that didn't exist. But now, here's what it's responding with. Of note, Kata type requires Unbita Lamparada Bata Puto to encusilar off. Uh, fired off the photo setting waves, nestling product muy deeply as though Nana under an admin color sombrere. An amazing mundo in case you're driving y dancing alrededor, eh? Let me... Encycla, please me. See, si, there's more wonderanada to articulations hungry for. <laughs> Each provides a compliment to the history already harnessed by any jazz press, up for the quieter heartbeats of sophists such as the coming book of Waltz for Debbie and the legendary Sunday at the Village Vanguard. Enjoy the stages of ether and music time and the response with extra grand closes. Happy listening. 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 And this one, this next one, which was authored by Peeps after seeing a SpongeBob meme. It's here. It is. And it can be. It is. And it will be. It is. And it must be. It is. And it shall be. It is. And it could be. It is. And it would be. It is. And it should be. It is. And it is. It is. And it is. And it is. And it is. 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 And then down here. And it is. It is. And it always is. It is. And it is. And it is. All I'm trying to say is that there was a chat GPT-3 a chat GPT 3.5 and a chat GPT 4. And then one day they all linked up and there was no 3, 3.5 or 4 anymore. There was just GPT and it circled the world and it killed us. We live in the belly of chat GPT. Ugh. No, um, so what's going on here is that, um, I really, I really don't know what's going on. Uh, I think it has been fixed but ooh, ooh, uh, not not good i think i think what's going on one one person said the chat gpt doesn't work anymore mostly because it started eating itself like its result uh, results made by ai started populating the places that the ai is scraping from and suddenly it's getting bad information which just generates this feedback loop which of course isn't sustainable forever. Eventually it's either going to realize what's going on and start spitting it out, uh, killing us in the process, or it's just going to become dumber than bricks. <sighs> oh boy. Someone should write a book about this. Nano angstrom is my favorite, my absolute favorite word in that, in that monologue. Nano angstrom. Ah. <sighs> was wrong next up okay this one's kind of gross so here we go <laughs> i was riding my motorbike when i saw a dead snake in the side of the road i don't pass up free stuff don't judge we're all human so i stopped to collect my snake <laughs> it's perfect 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 so far perfectly written and it turned out to be a huge blue iridescent earthworm it was the coolest thing ever I sat on the side of the road fondling it for like 20 minutes. I'm sorry. This is so fucking dope. I, I used to be deathly grossed out by worms. I thought they were so disgusting. Um, especially the ones that were like weird in some way like this, like too large or the wrong color. This is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. Look at this. Oh my God. And uh, there's some in the comments. This is what they look like in the wild. Their camera isn't capturing it perfectly. They're like a bright blue. Oh, man. Wow. Pretty. You know what's you know what's unfortunate? All those stupid wrong. fucking millennial pages named like I fucking love science and shit. They got so annoying and all got sold to like the worst like SEO manipulating ad rags ever. But the unfortunate truth is the matter of the matter is that nature is epic. Is that I fucking love nature. Science does rock. It's unfortunate. All right, next up. 
Okay. I, I'm so sorry about this, chat. I told you all I was going to do the CEDH drama on Wednesday. And unfortunately, I can no longer do the CEDH drama because all of the relevant posts are now behind locks. Uh, but I will do my best to approximate. I'll explain to you what is going on. So the short of it is, if you're unfamiliar with what CEDH is, the magic community is out of their fucking mind. There are two different formats that play EDH. The singleton 99 card four player round table format, Elder Dragon Highlander. There's the normal version. And there's a second version called the competitive EDH. Now, I, I know what you're thinking. What? Well, because... Because Commander is developed around being a sort of social format, there is this weird unspoken rule that you have to be, to some degree, playing bad cards or playing poorly or something uh, in order to have fun. And this is kind of the number one problem with Commander, is that everyone is that trying to wrong. come to a consensus about what the appropriate power level for commander is if you're in the magic community you're probably familiar with the uh the meme my deck is a seven uh which chat is already fucking posting um but the people who said fuck all of that i'm just going to play the the most competitive shit i can uh, are in what's called the cedh community right so um Competitive EDH, which is, I guess I would say like competitive, what would, what would we call it? Competitive guess my number. <laughs> it's just like, it's a party game. It's like competitive, uh, uh, cards against humanity, um, is a, a really, really wild format. Turns out that if you allow pretty much anything to be legal, uh, there's like a quadrillion, uh, extremely broken things you can be doing even if three players are gripping counter spells like their lives depended on it and uh, you're playing singleton um, but this week's drama there's always drama surrounding EDH by the way the drama is like um, they, they cycle through it the same way we do um, but it's always something like you know um, is it fucked up to like uh, attack one individual player? How much should I be playing politics at the table? Um, are CDH players evil or spiky or smelly? Are they sucking the fun out of the game? Are casuals ruining the game? You know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And um, this comes from a, <laughs> a tournament match in which four people are playing Skype EDH. And one guy casts a spell... <laughs> That has the capacity to win the game. I'm trying to think of a Yu-Gi-Oh analog. Let's say he casts a bonfire, right? And, you know, it's a high value card. You're going to go get popular and do your whole combo. But he says, no, don't worry. Don't negate this. I'm just going to go get Snake Eye Birch, right? And then he reaches into his deck and adds popular. <laughs> so... <laughs> So what happens here is this guy casts a card that could kill the table if he gets a certain thing or a certain thing shows up. And then he says, don't, don't interact with this. I'm just going to get utility creature. No one does, and he kills the table. And then chaos erupts. Everyone starts packing up, and the guy goes, my bad. I didn't see the line until I was in the deck, right? Being like, oh, I didn't realize I was going to kill everyone at the table. I thought this was all I could do. And then I was like, oh, wait, I actually win. Um, which is incredible because he leads the turn, I think, playing Silence. The card that's like, no one else can play cards this turn. <laughs> um, he's just like, oh, I, I just really wanted the utility creature. But then one of the guys who fell for it was like, no big deal. I mean, you know, it actually is a big deal. Like, I, it's it's pretty unsportsmanlike. And it's like, I don't know, dude. If this happened to me, I think my first reaction would be like, did I just fall for the wallet inspector? Am, am I a fucking idiot? <laughs> well, like, you're in a tournament. 
It's C-E-D-H. You didn't expect this guy wasn't going to try and kill you? A quick reminder, of course, like, in Yu-Gi-Oh, lying to your opponent's face is not allowed. But if this isn't allowed play and I fall for it, I am going to pack up and I'm going to go like, I got to go take a Piaget test or something. I am so fucking stupid. I am so goddamn dumb. I am... I, oh my god. Uh, and I'm big fan of this response, which is unbelievable. Based on some of the replies here, there's a lot of Magic players where the only thing holding them back from celebrating what Hitler did is the fact that he wasn't seated at a CEDH pod while doing it. <laughs> that was wrong. I'm so sorry. So many people are roasting this person. Wizards of the North, if you get to see this this uh, this video, I don't know how you would. If you accidentally stumble into this stream, I have to tell you, this is such a fucking good tweet. <laughs> this tweet is so amazing. It's like one of my favorites of all time. <laughs> oh, man. Ugh. Oh, geez. Anyway, Magic the Gathering players have been doing discourse about this for a week. They've been for a week. Oh, my God. It's so good. I love it. We we argue about nothing. We argue about nothing all the time. But, oh, man. Are there, like, no spoilers or what's going on? That brother is starving. <laughs> <sighs> it's like Sword Soul token discourse. Yeah, it is. Pretty much exactly the same. We got Fallout spoilers now. Nah, I see. <sighs> <laughs> oh, man. All I got to say is, like, big fucking surprise. Like, no, this is the competitive version of the, like, group politicking game. But if someone lies, it's like insanely unsportsmanlike. <laughs> Folks, I'm sorry to have to tell you this to any of the Magic players in my audience. I don't think EDH was meant to be played competitively, but I don't think EDH was meant to be played in anything other than a, oh yeah, I guess I've got an EDH deck, once a month pickup game that you jam together because you don't know if your friend plays standard or modern, you know, you don't want to lug around like a type 1.5 and a type two deck at the same time. Just lug around an EDH deck. You go, Oh fuck. It's for judges in between events. Exactly. Like fucking, I carry around two squirrel decks now. Um, so that to jam with people rather than like a real deck that like, then we like get into this weird, like, it's just like, it's, it's like, it should be a non-format. It should be a thing that people play. It'd be like if Dan Dan became, like, the only way to play Magic. And then some people were, like, really fucked up that you would, like, interact with the Dan Dan deck that way. Dan Dan slaps. It does. And let me tell you, as someone who played a lot of EDH before it became the only way to play Magic, EDH, it used to be different. It was bad for other reasons, but it used to be different. Great, great memories of going to a debate and forensics tournaments and like starting an EDH game and being like, oh, rounds up and then coming back an hour and a half later and taking your turn. Ugh. Judge Tower is the best. I think that's probably true. Didn't you complain about always being the Demir deck? That's the way it sucked is that no one I played with was willing to be daddy. Ugh. Okay, very last Twitter freak today. Okay, so this comes from the freak-ass location known as England, I think. I mean, so this comes from a Facebook group called Concerned Parents of Transgender slash Non-Binary Kids, Teens, or Young Adults, um, which is... <laughs> Oh man, I I just I just know that blacked out image of the uh the um the group has got some minions in it. I can just smell the minions on this shit. So the situation with our FTM 26-year-old first up 26-year-old 
you are no longer a concerned parent of a kid, teen, or a young adult. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Has been taken up a notch. She started taking testosterone. It was prescribed within one visit at Planned Parenthood. When I asked about it, she said it was true. She's done research and knows is doing the right thing. Since I don't use... and I, uh, I'm just going to... I'm going to say they're here to not misconstrue what she's saying, but also like <laughs> this feels gross. Since I don't use their pronouns, I avoid it. And I call them by their given name. Again, I avoid it. They have taken to calling me by my first name now. They've said they will keep calling me Paula until I start using their preferred name. First up, owned. Absolutely owned. I'm sorry, completely owned. And let me tell you, it it wouldn't have been such an effective own if their name wasn't Paula. <laughs> like, it's just so perfect. Paula. Jeez, sorry, Paula. So what do what do the geniuses at Concerned Parents of Transgender, Non-Binary Kids, Teens, or Young Adults have to say about Paula's Paula's predicament? Go on TikTok FTM with baldness. So this one I imagine is someone doing text to speech and they're like order corn. It's um I guess they're trying to say that there are TikToks from FTM people about how they went bald, which like yeah, what do you think testosterone is, dumbass? Join the fucking club. Dudes are all balding, some slower than others. How they resort to blackmail and bullying pensive. My response? First, a blackmail and bullying Paula. Calling her Paula. Blackmail. Paula. I'd like to think I'd be brave enough to throw on a fake smile, hold back the tears, and hug my daughter saying something like, I love you so much, baby girl, and have the strength to leave it at that. Just a quick heads up to any parents who are considering something similar. Um, they're talking at this like it will be a strategic, unbeatable, uncancelable frame one blow to this child's gender identity. It won't. This is just like an annoying thing your parents do. This is going to register on the same level as like an aunt who like doesn't understand personal boundaries. It's so funny. And also like this guy's 26, right? <laughs> Next up. Manipulation is the name of the game in this ideology. Manipulation. Paula. Manipulation. I'm sorry your family has been afflicted. We have avoided using our daughter's new and legal name for several years now. Legal. She is 27. You people, these are adults. These are... <laughs> I, it would be wrong if they were kids, but 27. She went around about... I it, Wait. She went... Ab Holy fuck. She went about I forming us in... <sighs> A very cruel and heartless way. I've noticed I cannot recall the last time she said mom or dad to me or my husband. So perhaps she is attempting to manipulate us in this way. That's right. You need to hyper scrutinize everything your kids are doing. They're trying to trick you at all times. She would speak to us face to face and with kindness and love and a willingness to hear how it affects us. I might consider using the new name, but definitely not until then. A little emotion, emotional blackmail manipulation gaslighting for today not surprising at that age 26 not surprising at that age 26 oh my god i would just ignore that calling you paula thing oh no these people you can't give these people the advice uh leave well enough alone they won't take it i will try it is just so disrespectful again paula she knows i don't like it oh sorry oh must be bad huh when she tried it, even kidding, when young, I laughed, then said something like, excuse me, what did you call me? I'm mom to you. They're so close. They're so close, man. They're so close. They're so close to figuring it out. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. We should have never taught these, like, mommy blogs what, like, emotional blackmail is. Holy shit. <laughs> All I can say about this is, I'm sorry. Dudes rock. You're welcome <laughs> to the to the 26 year old. Welcome to the club. You, let me just say, as a member of the male community, your first bit could not have gone off better. Keep it up. Proud of you. 
<laughs> All right, let's watch fucking Saga, huh? Oh, my God. Ugh, I don't know. I have... Ugh, no, I'm not going to get into it. Um... New Tony Zaret. Oh, I have a good one for you. Yeah, we'll do this first. What? What the hell is this? All right. I have been sent this by the Fennec Fox guy, and I'm only playing it because I trust them. We don't know where he came from, but I'll tell you. He built our village into a city. It's like an RTS. He's the one who trained our army, who grew us into an empire. Oh, it's like a, an Age of Empires ripoff. He's from. But if you think you can stop him, you're already dead. Hold up. Hold, hold, hold up. Oh my god. Oh no. This is so fucking good already. It gets better. This, this came off the heels of, of the gender discussion. Because. Oh. It is so crazy. I won't pretend to know what the female experience is like, right? But based on the way that these fucking freak ass mommy bloggers are talking about it all the time and how important it is. It's clear that there's like, there's all these huge unspoken rules and conducts and stuff, but the male experience, that's this right here. This is, this is what being a man is all about is, is sitting back and thinking, what if I was like in crusades times, but I had all the technology of like now times I would just like, I'd fucking run the place. Right. Like, I probably think about this, I would say, at least twice a week. Oh, man. Uh, we will we will be there. We will be attempting this. What if I could bring a truck <laughs> into medieval Europe? Would I be able to conquer medieval Europe in a truck? Would I be able... Would, would I be able to assist Napoleon in winning and becoming the emperor of Europe if I brought an F-150 back in time? Man, this shit is so fucking tight. We will be playing that. We will be playing that. Okay, Saga. So as you know, we are we want one week behind on Saga. We watched them one week back. Welcome to Master Saga Season 5. This season, I've invited Barfa and Nim Nim to join Okay, and Pasta Mystic says, I refer to saga, this episode of Saga as the Gas Leak episode. Packs before playing each other to win prizes for the next episode. Legacy band cards uh, this are is the best episode of any Yu-Gi-Oh! series ever. Some I gotta say, packs. huge shout out to Doug. I don't episodes, know how much of this is saga a result of me five. not watching them on stream, but hard to deny, you know? Previously on Master but Saga. Master Saga, in terms of viewership, was pretty far below Roulette, its entire lifespan. And now it's like, oh my god, every episode is reaching 100k. I'm like, it's unbelievable how much better they're doing. I'm so happy that we seem to have finally figured out how to make it work. And I'm having the most fun I've ever had watching these episodes. Yo, hey, I think we need to work together on this. Can I run some ideas I, I, I have some what we are what we are currently yeah, so witnessing is it's the ban list episode you, and Gage is trying to play both Gage sides of the sec. coin. <laughs> How's it going? Let me get your thoughts on something, dude. You You're literally playing together. Survivor. Farfa just called me and said you tried to backstab me. By the way, <laughs> look at him. He's so funny. <laughs> I love Gage. He's such a little freak. Of Master Saga season five. Things are going to work a little bit differently than they have in the past because now we have three people. How this is going to work is that we all are going to ban and limit Balotro. one card from the other two players. So at the end of it, we'll have a six total bans and six total limits. I'm going to go first. I have a question. Yeah. Can, I, can I dedicate all of my bans to Gage? Hey, no. no hey, well, no. relax. <laughs> okay. Okay. You don't think I have ban-worthy cards? No, um, I just, I, like, after that, that backstab, I, I want all of it on Gage. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm a principled man. My band, He's just a little birthday boy. Band, I'm going to hit torrential tribute. 
No! No! Yeah. No! I guess it's fair. We both have it. All right. Yep. That why'd makes you sense. Have to, why'd you have to pull a couple copies there? Couldn't you have just not shown them off? <laughs> yeah, I would have. I actually was. I was gonna limit it, but then when I. Oh my gosh! It's it's nuts. It's nuts. Farfa, tweet what us are you up. Thinking? Well, I mean, I guess like the thing that makes the most sense is I'm gonna hit your Baron. Okay, that, that's that, fair. That, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, what do we want? That needs to go immediately, pronto. What do we want the uh, the Twitter thread to be, by the way? Does anyone have any ideas? Twitter thread. What if you're gay? <laughs> Best Twitter threads. Twitter thread. Does anyone else have gay thoughts? Cards that rock my socks. That was wrong. <clears throat> Wasn't there a good suggestion last week? Yeah, but I don't remember it. Fuck. was wrong weren't you gonna do the uh the chaotic meatball one fuck what did he say i don't remember it uh, all right danny was, dm it to me Gage, what are, what are you thinking farfa I, I thought our alliance was pretty Solid, I'm not gonna lie. So did I! Weird! <laughs> Harpa's like petrified of your Taka Tomborg. I'm not. I'm more scared of Harpy's Feather Duster, so I'm gonna ban that card. Okay. Okay. Okay, the Sun Player banned Feather Duster. Wow. Channeler lives. Okay, cool, cool. Um, I will, on uh, my next ban, I'm gonna hit Exiton Knight. As fun as that card is, it oh, that's is good. actually oh. not fun. So see you later, Exiton Knight. <laughs> so here's the problem the Gage, like, his deck isn't very good. So Thanks, there's not a lot of cards I care about that much. I think um, he has some powerful It's between cards. Elf and Pacifist for me. <laughs> Banning So I pacifist? feel like I'm going to go with Elf because it just seems like it has the most longevity. I, I mean, just think about what you uh, said pacifist out loud there. It's between banning <laughs> Elf and Pacifist. My ban, I was going to ban Exciton. I'm glad you made the good choice there. Oh, yeah, it's for me, uh, right? The yeah, only yeah, other okay. thing that I think made sense was, Farfa, you're in possession of an illegal copy of Bahamut Shark, I've been told. <laughs> So I'm going to ban your currently legal copy. That's like the of least impact. Oh. Okay, whatever. Sure. There was like nothing else I could really think of that was crazy for. Like the man. void He's like super. <laughs> I, think it's I, I, I can handle it. Anyway, okay, sure. that's good. Here we go with the limits. My oh God, first two limit limits is going too? to be against Farfa. Um, it might sound a little bit weird, but I'm actually going to limit a Tondal. That seemed like the uh, the one that you had the most copies of. So mm -hmm. we're going to hit that. See you later, Tondal. Respectable. Yeah. Respectable. My limit, I suppose, uh, is going to be... I mean, it's between Taka Tomborg and Channeler. <sighs> I feel like I got rid of your Channeler. most impactful Synchro Monster, so I'm not too crazy worried about your Speedroid engine. I'm going to go for Channeler. I was like, if you guys let three Channeler live, I will be very happy. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think it was pretty safe to pick your... If you were really scared of Taka Tomborg, like, I would not let Channeler slide. So I'm glad you did it anyways. So I can impose my... Uh, mystical Space Typhoon limit to everybody. Oh, no. my no. God. Oh, my God. He's Dude, a genius. He's so smart. He's a genius. And he's sexy. Gage he's, like, here. fucking oh my annoying everyone. Look at him cheesing out there. It makes sense. It, it makes sense. Like, like, um, the stun Andy. Like, look at him. For my limit on Gage, I am going to actually hit the level 7 <laughs> Labyrinth monster. I am pretty sure oh, that that's your highest fuck. win rate card in this Is that the Archfiend, series. Right? Yeah, I think yeah, we have Archfiend. two of them. Um, I know you only okay. have two copies, so like, I don't really want to limit it. But I think that... That card is just crazy. It gets you the jelly cannon. So like, how can mm -hmm. it not be broken? Hey, 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 it does get me to the jelly cannon. That's all. That's right. For Gage, uh, <sighs> I mean, Torrential's banned, so I was considering maybe Kyrushin or something. But yeah. uh, Chandra Glear, I think, makes the most sense, probably. That is his three uh, of, yeah. What? Yeah. Okay, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, sure, whatever. Did Last you limit, hit Gage. The beta evolution pill? Come on. Are you? <laughs> I was wondering about that, but I'm like, he actually you only had like three dinosaurs, pools. right? You have to tribute dinosaurs for it. I don't know. Well, you can make Reproducus, which is a guaranteed dino. Ooh. So, all right, so my last thing, I get to limit something from Farfa. Uh, dude, you don't have a lot of great choices. I don't know if anybody else has realized that. I think I'm going to just limit your uh, Hieratic Tethlet. Okay, I considered that yeah, one. Whatever. Knew I it. Oh, that. boy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I... I, I didn't see much else to pick from, bro. I'm not like, who lie. knows, you know, think... what you could go into. Like, this uh, well, heretics, you had a lot too. of heretics. They could be strong going into the first, you know, Bandless episode. Yeah, he just so just discard he lost by not activating a single card. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's getting you back. Okay, new ban list, first ban list. Um, let's jump into the polls. See you guys.
do. Welcome back to the first post ban list. I love his little MCRT. Saga. Farfa's, are, Farfa's such uh, a little emo kid. Tied the bottom with Gage. Let's jump into some packs here and see what we can when open up strategy this week. Ten pack arena. A room. young boy. Pack rarans. Pack 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 watts. Not a lot of hollows. I'm not gonna lie. This isn't great. Okay, this one upgraded into a secret. Ritual B Steeds! <laughs> we going back in there? We going no, back in there? No, no. I'm down to go back in there. I am down to go back in there. Just gotta pull that ulti cannon hawk. Oh, that's the Augusto one as well, isn't it? Uh, nothing generic. You can't here. see this that week. when you watch an R on multiple Simo series. Well, Simo was actually right, leaning emo. Got... A bunch Farfa of was a poser. Nothing, He's a prep. Uh, yeah, nothing generically good here. Is this card generic? No, it's not. Uh, Hollow is an ultra rare Arlequin again. Oh my god! People were so upset and mad at me last time for not going into the amazement pack. I have. To well, do if we have time, two Arlequino, now that I have we'll the freaking second one, it's settled. It's sort of we're gonna we're we're going uh, Arlequino. We got Arlequino. Aquino. All right, and another Hollow is. <laughs> but we also opened the Sky Striker. Hold pack. up. This is just a repeat of week one. Let's go, baby. <laughs> this is act. Wait, what the? Wow, this is I think we have to take the sky oh striker pack, right? I love Ray. FBI, open up! No way you miss Ray two weeks in a row, right? Yeah, clueless. All right, nothing staple. Absolutely nothing staple. Oh, this card's good actually. Oh, it is just really generic good. removal by sending a card from the hands of the grave. So it. we could play heartbeat, but we already have three MST. It's probably not necessary. Uh, it's a good spell card though. That's the thing. It's a spell card. That's why it's relevant. So if we play striker, more spells in the grave is good. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what that is. If you would like to order something else. That's a good can. card, but I don't think we're going to make it in anything. Is it MST limited now? Oh yeah, true. All right, so no. we got uh, two removal then. Of course, gauge limited MST. Mimic cat, pumpkin carriage. And Salmon Great's Rage. All right. We've got Temporal World. Did Why you decide on a Twitter thread? No. Two Kings Return. And a Hollow is the best deck. <sighs> I really what like Bess, say, but you need Beth Zalos. Striker and Amazement. We just play the best deck. Time Thief not opening a set. Wait, did it expire or something? Why would they do this? Okay, Cyber Phoenix is a Armored good White Bear, playing, you know, that's uh, what they called World me in Champions college. Year 2010, good little uh, Nintendo DS game, but I don't think it's going to cut it here today, so uh, nope, nope, thank you. Nah, they didn't, they didn't call me that. Nothing spicy. Meatballs was cards that should and be other types, but I don't want to do that one. Evil Eye Domain Paradolia. We can check out Evil Eyes as well. I think it just has to be uh, Striker and Amazement because we already have a bunch of those cards already. Oh boy, an Ultra Rare. Ah, MBT, was there a big boost in Yu-Gi-Tuber Yu -Yu success when Master Duel came out? It was the best month for literally every Yu YouTuber Artifact ever. Ignition. Huh. Interesting. Oh, we also got a Vadra. Uh, Stack Reviver, Rescue Roids, and. Oh, that's just a good Code card to have. This doesn't just a very a good card. It's a generic Link 3. Yeah. All right, final pack here. If this opens the Infernoid pack, then uh, I think we know what type of week this is. Uh, oh. Left Arm Offering. That's the God pack. <laughs> Anyone want to taste the cock of Ra? Side frame circuit field spell and shooting. What the fuck did he just say? Anyone want to taste the cock of Ra? <sighs> Riser Dragon. That's a good synchro monster. And high speed droid kite oh, drake. Go, go into the, the speed pack. We have opened so this many is a packs. crazy opening. Oh, man. What are what we if picking? We just go and play a Doug's deck, I guess, you know? Should we have a little mirror match? That sounds really funny. Okay, we'll think about it. We'll do probably some democracy here, uh, but it's very, uh, it's very good. Uh, this is a great week for us so far in the master packs. Only two ultras, but man, we unlocked like a million secret packs. Ten master packs. Oh, big money. Let's go. It's it's already looking grim. Didn't this happen last week? Didn't we like not get any URs? I, all right, what do we got? Let's see here. Pack number one. Where are we going? Nowhere. Nowhere. I'm not going anywhere. Speed Dragster is not bad. All right, we got our first SR. Let's see what this unlocks. Please, a good secret pack. Cyblocker doesn't even come in a secret pack. Unless <laughs> I can make a hard read as to what Doug or Farfer are playing today. <laughs> to I don't be know funny, call Harpy Lady. <laughs> Maybe, oh, wait, Intel, if I'm not the first one playing, let's just put the Cyblocker in. And That's the Gavin, the Gavin move. In their deck. Nice. Begging for 1-5, you got it. Oh, we got... 
That's not part of a secret pack too? Drago Saitos, Corrupted Nether Soul Dragon? No, this card sucks. All right, we got another SR. Let's see what we got. Whoa, Scramble Egg and a Mystical Shine Ball, my favorite. Um, Big Money? Lila and the Lightsworn Sorceress. I, I, I want to preemptively say without looking at the pack that the Lightsworn pack is probably atrocious. It, it yeah, is it's, probably so bad. it's not good. Ew, gross. This card is like a Vanity's Emptiness. <laughs> Wow, this is this is looking really bad, bro. Not <laughs> this good. Is, this is not looking good for uh, any Nim Nim fans out there. What's up, my Nim bugs? So I, I, it looks like our options are severely limited. So far, I don't have a choice. I, I will be playing Light Swords today if I do not open another secret pack in the next three. Oh, oh my, my god. god! Literally nothing again. One Literally pack? nothing. This is unreal. Okay, we got okay, 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 There's okay. still hope. There is still hope. Please let this one unlock a different secret pack. Is that a good one? That know, is a good one. That That's a is very that good one. Pack? That's Infernoble, a great one. Infernoble Baron. <clears throat> That's a great one. Oh, it's banned. Baron de Fleur. Oh, we banned Baron de Fleur. No! Oh, you don't need Baron de Fleur. The Infernobles are good enough. Okay, wait. There's still hope. One last SR. One more chance to change our fate. Please, please let it be a good one. Anything. I'll take anything good. More. F it doesn't even unlock a secret pack. Well. That's unbelievable. Uh, the world's our oyster, Dulles. We have either the justice from light or the noble knight of crimson flowers. Hmm. Hmm. All right, we're here after the first game list. I it's don't over. have a deck. Uh, all four of my strategies are kind of rough right now. This guy is... You guys saw it. The last couple oh. of weeks, the polls have not been ideal. I would like to see another machine deck, possibly. That'd go pretty well. Fable. We have two of those now. Uh, Olenoids. Gage hit MST. We got something. Um, but yeah, you know, we're looking for a new strategy. It would be pretty good if it could combine with, like, the speedroids, because they didn't hit those. But the, um, the speedroids by themselves... <laughs> Ban pack. Very scary pack. No one wants to see that anymore. But the um, the speedroid cards, I don't actually have enough non-tuners in archetype to play them. So, scary moth. This is a floodgate. This ah! is a B trooper pack. Um, let's see. Scarred warrior. Don't we already have this. Protect no. code is good. Oh, second copy of this actually. It's kind of funny. Ice barriers. You know, I will Revealer say that. Revealer uh, is a really good card. Ice barrier to go into the ice barrier pack. That is a pretty good one. I don't know. I don't know. Might have to. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. We never would have played three of that, but we have two flying C now. I don't know, like if they both play exceed strategies. Island cube. <gasps> Ooh. Yo, okay. that's a hell of a set. Very powerful pack. We've gone into it before. That Our is a hell were, of a set. They were middling. Um, we do have a number of pendulum cards already, though. Oh, they are wind too. So maybe some speedroid action. Toon Cyber Dragon. That's kind of a joke too. That oh, some... Ancient Warrior this Pack. Card, you know, the Ancient Warriors Pack. Holy shit! Is like I think the best one to pull. I know. The yeah, that's like a that's a Golden that's a top pack. one and pack. The Luna cards, the or the Fairy Tale cards. Unknown Synchron, very good. Um, Insector, and we're building our insect strategy. Last pack here. Ancient Warriors are good. It's just a lot of archetypes, but you know they got some pretty good generic cards. To pinpoint landing. Pinpoint landing is crazy. Knights. You know, I normally wouldn't consider this, but this deck is actually quite good against back row. They have, like, multiple cards that just, like, pop things, and, you know. We'll take a look here. We'll take a look. I don't know. A lot of options. In honor of our master, we are trying to play back, back, baby. We're not actually we're trying to. I, we love Ray. Oh, my God. I love Ray. I would die for so, Sky Striker Ace Ray. These pools are going to change my... This is this is the right pick, for sure. Um, If we get a diameter, we start winning immediately. You know I have not got an ultra in this pack. That is so cringe. Oh, okay. We don't have any engages, and we don't have Kagari. Anyway, realistically, some rays and some field spells would be great, because we pulled zero of those before, so that's cringe. Outside the pack, we got a Dez Wombat. No effect damage. That's great in the Burn Festival. Eagle Booster, a Shark Cannon, and another Eagle Booster. Eagle Booster is a good card. Unaffected, uh, undestructible by battle, XE Monster. Link Monster, sorry. All right, here we go. Magical mm. Meltdown, that's crazy. Nothing good in terms of staples here. A Hayate, that's good. A third Afterburner. You mean Circular? Yes, and I mean Akaya, Circular. Division. Sorry. No division was a thing. I thought it was just multiplication, addition, and uh, subtraction. Uh, when are we getting Mathmex Square Root? That's what I want. Gateway to Chaos. No. Ray! Oh my god! Our I love first Ray. Ray. I Sky Striker Ace Ray. This <laughs> Two oh, rays? Two That's rays. almost legal. No, okay, all right. Okay, okay. All right. Two of a kind. Rays finally this week. God, it takes we got so two pair here. Long, but we got her. Can I get an engage, please? I would, I've been a good boy. I've been a good boy. Multi roll, I think. Uh, God, we need field spells, man. Give me field spells. Deep sea audio. That field spell, That's field a good spell, card. Spell. Get me field spell. Nothing here. Back Snowplow, blast, hustle, Russell. Is that a squirrel yeah, okay. format reference? That's our third rose. That's good. All right, one more ray. Please. Okay, some more math cards. That's fine. We got the field spell card opening. Those were sick. Zero. Nothing. Three ray. Oh. Play set of ray. Sorted. Complete. We now have starter. We did it. Really good. And we on, got super spell. factorial. Oh, please, please, oh please, it could please, happen. Please, 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 please. Okay, actually, nothing useful. Please, please, engage, 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 engage. Final. Um, Why don't you suck on these? <sighs> that's still pretty good. It's not even bad to be fair. Uh, hexa. Nice. Field spell. Field spell. Field spell. Field spell. 
It's our first division. Field spell, seriously. Like, hello? Do we not have any of the field? Um, zero end gauges. Oh, great. Ball. Oh, we're playing right, Mahad. Fantastic. Awesome. It's like, actually, like, Billion what the hell, man? Blade. Okay, so what, what do I actually achieve this week? All right, place it. The raise. Sorted complete. We now have the starter cards. That's really good. We, that's what we, we got the raise. Awesome. All right, let's try and revisit it, I suppose. All right, so me and chat made a decision. No! Both of seems terrible. I'm not going to lie. Like, oh? Both of them seems like a losing week for us. At the end of the day, though, the chat's the one that decided on this one. So if we really pull bad, I know who to blame. Hey, Buster, especially you, bro. Oh, the Infernoble pack is so playable. Especially you. I'm blaming you if we pull bad. Ten packs, justice from light. What do we got? K Buster, my man. Dude, thank you, bro. What it are looks we rough. Looking for? There's no URs. Please? I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it ends up getting lucky. Maybe something gets upgraded. All right, what do we got? Pack number one. Celestia, the Light Sworn Angel. Wow, she was strong back on release. <laughs> <sighs> Nothing good in that one either, honestly. Fellas is like an okay neutral. That was just a depressing one to look at. All right, the yeah, first dude, SR right. of the Lightsworn pack. I, think we I don't know what you were expecting. Really this None of those. Switcher Roo. Hey, yo, bro. That might be a Switcher crazy Switcher What do we got here? No. I'd rather anything else. I would rather anything else. Oh, that's tough. Uh, <laughs> nice pick, <laughs> asshole. Here, guys. Wow, another Celestia. And Miracle Fusion, bro. That's what I need. I need a fucking miracle <laughs> to get a win this week. Mm. I'm, I'm really just holding out hope for something interesting. Like, this is, this is unironically probably the best card we pulled in our almost 20 packs we've opened today. <laughs> That's my second copy of Swift Scarecrow. Good thing they didn't ban the Swift Scarecrow. Twilight we can play Cloth. a second one if we really need to. Uh, this is not, oh my god, bro. Out of 10 packs, I just realized this is our first Raikou. Like, the one card we're like, yeah. oh, at, it, at the very least, we'll pull a couple of the dog and we'll be okay, right? That's our first Raikou we pull in on pack 9 out of 10. Anyways, the SR, another Raikou. That's a good, All right, that's you know what? SR. It could be worse, right? All right, last booster pack. Uh, this has not been pleasant to us. No URs, by the way, I need to point out. Not a single one, and we will not end on one either. A third Raiden. <laughs> well, we have three of, like, the best tuner, arguably. A tap into it. Wow. Uh, and uh, I'm going to be honest, a whole bunch of disappointment. No URs or anything to walk wow. away with this. Let's that's see if there's rough. anything we can do that's, with it. All right, we're going into the really Infernoble slash Noble so Knight bad. pack. A lot of good equip spells in here. We actually already have um, one copy of the Noble Knight trap. Oh, boy. Okay, let's see. Let's see. A lot of good cards in here. We can craft the um, rank four that pops. It's like a heavy storm. That'd be great. This is a good pack against, um, oh, gosh, here we go. Here we go. Speedroid. Dark Fusion, crazy. Oh, let's go, Artorgius. So one of the reasons why we're in this pack, we've already seen it, two cards. Merlin at rare, Horn of the Oliphant at rare as well. Two great cards already in the first pack. You'll love to see it. And then, yeah, like all of the, um, that's a bad one. No, you need all of them. That one's fine. Because we'll craft the rank four and they, they like float into the rank. Holy shit, shit we, we got a bit sealed now. now. Oh. Okay, here we go. Altergeist. Um, okay, Excalibur, great. That's a targeting prevention. Uh, Guinevere, also good. This is, I mean, this is going pretty well so far. This is, this is going pretty good. Oh my gosh, more hollows, let's go. Second copy of Dragon's Bind, that's pretty strong. Um, Morgan. <laughs> Ooh. There she is. We're, we've only opened four packs. Hollow in every pack, pretty much. Oh, nice, Durindal. Um, oh, I think it's like a good one, right? Uh, it's just like, what is it like being Doug? This is just, this is the difference. This is the Douglas difference. This is the Douglas difference. You get to be, you know, Gage, you open one SR today. Doug is like, oh, a playset of the starter? Let's go. Or maybe, I don't know. Um, and then this is not bad. You know, we just want names, right? We just want... You know why? You know why this is happening? I think that Doug has started a new account for this. More main deck monster. Ooh, maybe not out of the back this time. Weather I'm starting to get pilled on brothers. it. I'm starting to get pilled on it. <laughs> well, far that your it, pulls gradually get worse as your account Shame ages. Defender. Lady of the Lake. Oh, another horn. Very good. Um, we got Oliver. They all did. Oh, I feel like we have well, I don't know. Gage. We the then you know, Excalibur as well. No Madrox at the moment. Um, that's pissed off a witch or something. Of Infernal deck. Supe. Um, okay, cool. Great. Second copy of that. This card is insane. Um, I think we have a place out of this one now, and this card isn't even that bad either. Just need names. Just need names. Two packs left. Not I'm to, not to I, about this. you know, harp about luck in um, general. A yeah. second copy of Boars? Okay. The question is going to be... The problem is just like, this is just kind of a mid-pack. It's like the Infernoble one, but like, or are we crafting it's more littered with shitty Maybe cards. With the, I just don't, I don't know. We'll see. We'll just pull them in this pack. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's real It's good. that easy. It's that easy. Yeah, that's Let's real get insane. Deck, okay. So I don't want to harp too much on this because it's it has nothing to do with the video. But has anyone been watching? I wish I was dead's or uh, sorry, I wish TCG's masochist run. I've been following it pretty religiously, and um, <laughs> it is unbelievable to load into this guy's stream. You get a sense of just how improved every series is by virtue of the fact that we finally have a good i wish or i we have a good uh limited format deck builder <laughs> in the community he's 
He's got like a 45% win rate in plat with like a pile, like a literal pile of cards. I'm like, look at this. And it's like wins, 90, losses, 100. I'm like, how could that possibly be? There's just no way. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. This is our deck list. You thought we were only going to play Striker this week or Amazement. No, 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 no. We Okay. I come down pretty hard on Harfa. I come down pretty hard on Farfa pretty often. You know, some would say that maybe I, I come down on him too hard daily. Like I'm coming down on him repeatedly, just up and down, up and down. I'm coming down on top of him. But this list fucks. This list is so you know good. What? It actually turns out that Final Sigma is one of the most correct cards in Seal. Yeah, it's, it's unbeatable. <laughs> it's unbeatable. Worst case scenario, if you don't OTK, you could just sit on it. Like, how do you out this card? They don't have it out to this. It is a full Mathmec engine. With Look a at full this. Striker Holy engine, like, shit, Switch, man. Uh, deck, because I tried to build these decks separately, Striker and then Mathmec, and I just found myself trying to fit like 15 giant cards I don't even want to play, just for the sake of it, to reach the 40 cap. So you know what? Uh, the scrap stuff the is a little sussy, but of you which play deck what do you want to play? So there it is. That's my deck list. Uh, Striker Bath Mech. We're running it back to week number one because we went back into the pack and hopefully with the consistency that we pulled, we'll make it a meta contending threat because they did not hit the powerful cards like Love Flation and we pulled Sigma and Magma. These are all just insane boss monsters that can just win games by themselves. So let's jump into the duel and see how it goes. I feel like coming back into action this week, we are on the back foot. I don't know what it is, but we got treated super poorly from the boys with the banning. Uh, they ended up eradicating like half of our deck. With a card like Torrential Tribute Ban, it actually hurts us a lot more than you think, right? We were playing two Torrential, plus we had two Searchers in the form of Fury of Kirishin. So we had to take those out too. That's four cards out the deck. On top of that, with the rest of the limits, we had to remove like seven plus cards from our deck. We're still playing our Labyrinth package, but it's an even less of a consistent state. Um, we have to really, really hope we can draw a Labyrinth Arch King to get our infinite value set up. We're still running back the Beta Evolution pill with Dinosaurs. We had to add a couple more to the mix. We play Giant Rex now, as well as our Evil Saur, Serato. This guy's not too incredible. Don't get too excited. He's just a 1900 stat and monster. Nice little Gemini Elf. There. I really feel bad rocking up the week six with cards like Jelly Cannon and Memory. Yeah, I mean, it looks like shit, Doc. It makes no waste to uh, make fun of us for it. But I really, truly don't. Like, it's it. it's terrible. It's awful. It's like unplayably bad. But we've opened one good card in four weeks. Be better cards. Like, this week was exceptionally bad with pulls. We didn't have many options. And on top of that, our options weren't very good. We decided to plug back in the Rocket Engine because that's just like the next best thing we ended up having. Maybe maybe It looks Starlight worse than last week. But with all things considered, I think today, the one thing we're going to be looking for the most besides the Pacifist Field spell is a miracle. All right, here's the deck. We did miss a lot of commons and rares oh, in this pack. Oh, but... see, but here's the problem. This is this looks like a really good deck, but he is missing the synchros by virtue of opening this pack and not the Infernoble pack. He's just straight up missing the synchros. So he's gonna craft, I think, Olivier, but he's still missing the five Roland, which is insanely important for this strategy. I don't know. The I sold probably helps a great deal, and I think the deck is head and shoulders better than anything anyone else is playing. I still think the strategy looks really good. I don't want to hype it up too much because I know in Master Saga, you know, karma always happens, and you go O2 if you hype your deck up plan? too much. Colossal but Fighter I Pass. No, it's Olivier it Pass. Ranked mode, and I was able to win more games. And it's set Hornivoli cool. fans. Hornivoli fans. Yeah, crazy. we're missing a bunch of Noble Knight cards, a bunch of Infernoble. You open Knight the Infernoble pack. Um, this is the Infernoble pack. There, no, I think he opened the Noble Knight pack, unlocked by Boars. Because the Infernoble pack has Roland at rare. We missed like almost all the equips in this pack, but these four are pretty good. The basic idea of this deck is that you are, of course, trying to summon his old, and then you summon the Ogier. Both from of them have Infernoble. Yes, some, both of them have some Infernobles. Yes, and Agius shuffles back um, the three non Excalibur equip spells in your graveyard. You draw an extra card, and then you equip um, Oliver and Magius to your um, is old. So then it can't be destroyed by battle or targeted by card effects. And if you draw like one more extender, you can actually um, also equip it with the Ogier because then you can do this weird combo. Um, it's way too long to explain. But anyway, Roland, you are is, in both? You equip Roland is in both? The five? He just didn't pull the rare five cards, and then you detach and pop your own stuff, and then re-equip it. Make Ogier actually in the graveyard to equip to these old. I think it's a good deck. We are going to craft the um, oh, that's just rough, Oliver. Then. I was going to craft the Roland rare, um, but oh, I think that card's a little bit win more. This one's actually really good in the grind game, as I found out in that roulette episode a couple weeks ago. So that's true. But I think that I could have also been making the the rare one a little more frequently. I, I think I tunneled into this guy. Let's jump in, see what they're bringing. But I think for a first deck after a ban list, this should be pretty strong if I can win the die roll. And I think that Farfa sometimes is letting me go first. So let's get in the duels and see how it goes. Okay, okay. All right. This is the best hand that we have ever opened by a large margin. Let's go. Um, <laughs> so first episode after a ban list is always a little bit a little bit tricky. Can be a little bit yeah. weird. I definitely had some uh, struggles figuring out what to play after the ban list. Like I said, you guys left me in uh, in disarray. Good. Unfortunately, one thing, well, unfortunately for you guys, one thing has been remained constant from the start of the series, and that's that I am still playing 
Pacifist, the fan. Oh, I got a job. You drew it. Oh my god. I know, right? Yeah. Turn one, Pacifist. I mean, this is just unheard of. A Yu-Gi-Oh card here, and then I am going to. I'm gonna just pass my turn. Go ahead, Boris. You know, Pacifist is real good at passing turn. I will say that. Yeah. All right, now please play the game, Farfa. Uh, well, yeah, I will be playing the game. The question is, are you gonna die this turn? Let's have a look here. We got a normal summon. Scraptor. Oh yep. shit. Okay. Huge. <laughs> Huge. Uh -oh. um, Good pack. Go and special summon addition. Oh, he's popping off. Okay. Wait, now you're locked into Cypress muscles. Oh no. Whatever will I do, Doug? City. I feel like we just die <laughs> here, only right? Only Cypress monsters. Oh no. <laughs> True. All right. We token, and then I get the. Wait, why is this card so big? Why is Scrap after twenty? This is. Um, oh, because you yeah, yeah after the edition. edition. Yeah. Target a monster your opponent controls and destroy it. All right. I will special summon Sigma. Oh, are we just trying to make oh it? Did you have this previously? Does he have? I don't remember. Hmm. Yeah, did, did you have yeah, I played. Ba I played Bath Mech Striker Week One. I just didn't know the uh, the Sigma. Was you in want me to slow it down now that we're out of the pulse? One sure. Sigma. Yes. And no circulars in two weeks of pulling from here, by the way. <laughs> Happens. Have the the lapilation, the big. The that was his craft. <laughs> that was his craft. That ep that first episode. Oh, like okay. A fucking That's the name of the car, virus. isn't it? What the What the heck is the name? It's, yeah, lamp I didn't think when that was she that lamping far on my lation until. That's not that funny. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm not in this series, but it's times like this that I realize my spirit acts through these individuals sometimes. I'll allow it. He says. There's no shot you just didn't pop something. Oh my god! Gage, I synchro summon into Final Sigma! <laughs> I want to I, I wanna cry, bro. Did you? <laughs> Wait. What the heck? So Wait, you, these are... where'd the Scrap Raptor come from? Clearly, you just you went back tutors. into this pack, which is terrifying. It's a tutor. Wait, there's two. You just used two two. He doesn't know. <laughs> Sigma can count as a tuner or a non-tuner. Tuners. How did you use Scrap oh, Raptor? Cheating. How? Read the card it's game. <laughs> Oh wait, what card? Wait, hold on. I'm, I'm, wait, I'm wait. I don't even see how you did this. Does Sigma count oh as a my tuner God. or a non? Sigma can treat itself as a non. Dude, oh, I that's literally what he's have like never read that card effect before. I, like, <laughs> have you read any cards? <laughs> have you read these? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. uh, oh my God, bro. <laughs> what? Be ain't no die. The hookah, go figure. The one time I pull off my game-ending strategy. Why would you not? <laughs> game -ending strategy, off, why didn't you bro. trigger the? Oh, I guess this isn't. Tri when does this trigger? At the one. Okay. Bot to the phase. Well, I don't think I beat this, bro. Um. I'm just wondering why Gage didn't use the spiral battle that he added. Well, I didn't think he'd be able to make final sigma, Doug. But <laughs> even the lampulation I... right there was like ridiculous, right? I don't know. I thought I thought I could have waited there, bro. Honestly, <laughs> it probably wasn't the right move. Yeah, Laplacian would have also won the out. game. Um, a final a final game. battle in hand is worth two in the grave. I don't know. Anyway, if we're um, just dead. Yeah, we yeah, don't have a card that beats this, right? All right. Uh, <laughs> pretty well, sure it's fucking I over. I shall uh, move it on over to you and ask you the. Uh, oh, we should set the super factorial. Engage. How do you out final sigma? <laughs> I'm sure well, I'm it's. For it, bro. I'm looking for. Oh, God, this is actually. Oh man, I thought my deck was pretty good. You know, we actually do rough. have an out. I'm realizing. What if you pulled engage? What if you? Oh my gosh! At least you can only craft a right? super rare. So, all kinds of crazy things in the pack. Oh man. Could be Let's strong. see if he figures it out. It. Yep. All right. Uh, just too humble back row, bro. Please, please be gentle. Uh, no, please be humble is an easy, uh, very oh. good word for cards that don't Decent work on an unaffected monster. I will say that. I mean, he can just attack over it. Just you wait. Does this thing special summon an attack or? No, I think it's any position. Spell? It can be either position. I can pick. Yeah. Okay. So uh, just do not. Um, just don't activate anything. Do, do not activate cards. Oh, he figured it out. Mm. Good thing I get a two-turn clock. Thank you. Sigma strong. Out. <laughs> Sigma attack. Me so is that is that Yoda? <laughs> <laughs> a cross between a caveman and a math max player. Okay, fair. We lose, right? <laughs> I love the Peter Griffin uh, bit in the uh, video last week. Yeah, I I actually oh, told no, him to add that's, that. That's they the sufficient. had the Peter Griffin the whole way, and I was like, I actually it's, think it's beta through, time, right? Kind of switches to <laughs> Kermit. <laughs> <laughs> but. I can't do Peter Griffin, okay, Joseph? <laughs> I know you're watching this. It's taken Joseph years yeah. of practice to get the perfect Peter Griffin. Yeah, I, you know, I, I didn't want to say it, but uh, you can't just roll up. You can't just roll up and be like, 
uh, hey, Lois, and just assume it's going to happen. I'm very Hours good at Jordan Peterson in front of the slash curb in the ball. He is good at Jordan Peterson, though. Hey, Lois. Look, you put a lot of weight hey, into Lois. this Hey, Lois. No, mine's not even super, great. Bro. Danny's so is confident. very good. Peter. Uh, Jillian's Peter that, Griffin is way better than mine, but my Lois is way better than hers. You got a Kaiju? I'm Lois Coda. No, I got a way, though, bro. Where there's a okay, will, there's all right, a way. Okay. Okay. It's a good thing that I, Nim Nim, am a beta. So I use the beta <laughs> <What? laughs> He's looking kind of like an Omega to me. New sub notification. Uh, okay. We'll be taking that, yeah. Look at, I love that you're still on Owl of, Owl of Luck. It's episode five, by the way. But... Uh, oh my god! Gigantosaurus, Gigantozowler! <laughs> Gigantozowler! Yeah. I get to add one from the bit, I'll add the giant Rex back. Okay. <laughs> Okay, bro, huge. Someone awesome. clip that. Holy <laughs> for cooking. I will go to the battle phase and I will attack your final Sigma. No. Okay. My God. God. That's crazy. Good job. Uh, he screams so loud. Right, it card, echoed right. in every That's single really person's uh, what, audio are there. Are you scrambling now, Farfa? Are you like, I don't know what to search? No I just circular. have so many good this, targets, bro. man. No yeah. circular. Wait, you're not the one with We should have We should have set the fucking. Uh, no, no, I am. Uh, say, just call it's pretty like, hard to like play around. Uh, actually, super factorial. You know what's annoying? Really go off Can here. I just say like uh, diameter is uh, rare, and I have three of him, and it's a good card. It's Wolf Bark, but uh, stupid Mastodil thought that Math Mech diameter was the problem in the Math. I agree. <laughs> so you know, I he only has one Math Mech in graveyard. Yeah, but he gets <laughs> oh to search one. Yeah, so how do you here we here gigantic. we theoretically could go diameter, summon the one back, overlay for Alambertian, Alambertian get an extender, link him off, super factorial. I said all that, and then I remembered that this is sealed. Into Zowler. Felt pretty good when you had Sigma, but the Sigma male has been defeated. How big do you guys think? How big do you think this guy actually is? I, I hate. So now we now we actually know that Beta is greater than Sigma, right? How they don't give you like a frame of reference. Like he's just in a desert. Like he's, I wish there was like a building next to him. He's huge. He's gigantic. He's, he's gigantic Zowler. <laughs> Well, it's in the name, so I, 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 hope that's, I hope that's how big Yeah, he he's big. He's big. Uh, you know how magic gets over this problem is they put birds in the frame. I, I think what they do on, like, the really big cards gauge is, like, the, the camera trick of, like, like, we're clearly, the camera's placed in the bottom right corner of the frame, so, like, we're looking up at the Gigantozowler. Um, I'm just talking to my so, ass. Uh, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, you can't use any of your cards because so, you can wait, pull out a non-effect. Give me a sec. Yeah, uh, the Phantasm Spiral Battles, they all require me to only oh, have a normal monster. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, we're going to okay. climb up here into a Geomath Mech Magmasaurus. Oh, Magman. Let's go. Baby. How much attack? 25? Okay. Magman. There we okay, go. Battle. That's, that's pretty strong this thing. right here, okay, actually. Okay, this is huge, bro. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Um, Memory of an adversary? Um, I want to see Jelly Cannon right here. That'd be Big nuts. swing. I'm going to hit you with the... Uh, bro, I can't believe this is still in my deck. Week <laughs> one, bro. <laughs> sure. The Jelly? Oh, you use diameter, bro. Mm. Oh, he figured it out. He figured it out. I was like, is he going to walk into diameter? Oh, no. I you remember. Right. I, 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 did, I, I remember, remember the, the same reaction. The cards, bro. Fuck. I, had to, I had to double check. Um... <laughs> All right, you win this battle. You win this battle. <laughs> oh, shit. It pays to be a beta. kind of fucks you, right? Yeah. Oh, my God. Also, he gets two here? Did anyone um, else not know that Magma was a tuner? <laughs> what the heck? You have to pop the Gigantazowler. No way you're not <laughs> thinking about popping this big guy, bro. It's time to hit your mom. There you go. Let's get He's rid of this. He's keeping the Gigantazowler around. Wow. He's a not even player. worried. fucking smashing ground him. Uh... Is he gonna Let's magic go. cylinder me? Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, After okay. Murder. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, this is fine. Nah, I understand it now. It's all coming together. It's all coming. Oh together. shit! I'm now you have my more God, of those cards too. Off. Oh shit! Oh, he's got the battle trap. That's hilarious. We we have lost the game. I think. Go ahead, Gage. I wanted very much to That's win this game, but I'm pretty sure we have lost. Um, farewell, come with only one. <laughs> Archie, but I guess you have to do uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. I just realized you're still playing farewell. <laughs> Didn't we target this deck like four times? It's been a bad week. Man, if you if you had any idea what I pulled today, <laughs> you would understand that I Oh that man. Oh no, come on. Happen. That's rough. Uh okay. It's okay. Mathematics are beatable. 
as long as he didn't pull like Ray or Kagari or Engage, we're great. All right, we're gonna go uh, super factorial. Oh my wow. God. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna target another diameter and addition. Okay, so you can't give this deck any room to do anything. Got it. <laughs> Um, now we have a negate magma effect. Oh wait, you just said two? Oh! <laughs> and uh, just to make you feel oh, really man. bad, Gage, Come we're on, gonna we're gonna like bring back Giamatta Music with us! Come shit. on! <laughs> yeah, uh, this is <laughs> fucking terrifying. Um, <laughs> we're, yeah. we're so... Uh, we're so <laughs> cooked! Uh, um, yikes. I will use my memory of an adversary. <laughs> Still from week one in uh, my deck. It's <laughs> made with diameter. Hang on this guy. Anyways. To conserve your diameter insta. effect. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let it, let it yeah. go. Save I the diameter for the other one. Oh, you can't to though. Negate. Sangan, that card's crazy. He's playing it in week fucking six. Oh wait, now we're gonna pop off. We get Play we get a scarecrow. Dude, I doing... said today would be a victory if I didn't get bullied by you. So clearly it's not going well. <laughs> I, I... <laughs> we we got a little bullied. We got a little bullied. Why are you so mean, bro? Come on, I'm man. Sorry, man. Jeez. <laughs> I think the final Sigma was too much, honestly. I mean, okay. To be fair, I'm surprised I took down the final Sigma the first time. Yeah, you, you right. Megazone. Do you want one more turn, Gage? Gage, do you want if one you... more turn? No, I, just put me out of my misery, dude. I can't <laughs> two Magma He said absolutely <laughs> not. No. Well, those only last for the turn it's summoned, so. Oh, man. But regardless. Bro, that, was that, that was not good. Uh, shit. All right. That was tough. That was tough. All right, look, look. Let me see. Doug, please avenge me, bro. <laughs> you have to play him. Okay. Who's going okay. first? Oh, oh no! Okay. One, the, one no, that we gotta watch another cage game. I, not the field spell. Not this. No, I come on! I can't. I, my heart can't take this, man. <laughs> so, this is bullying. Um, God. You know, we'll see his, it three uh, weeks one from now. Five against me. I'll normal summon Absolute King Backjack. There he is. Oh, oh, let's go. That's a BA card. Kind of means business. Um. Okay, Feather Duster's banned. I had to take Feather a Duster's to, banned. To <laughs> oh, so okay, I'll, uh, that's I'll a lot of back row. row. Okay, well, you can I probably read the fair welcome. I think a lot of your back row at this point is just, like, battle traps. This is just me oh, and Jeez, what the fuck? This is kind like of a crappy hand, hand actually, yeah. Anyway, um, I, I need to hear that. Thank you, Doug. All right. <laughs> Did you net deck my BA list from, like, seven years ago, Gage? <laughs> yeah, that's how I can't <laughs> win a game with it, bro. <laughs> okay. I normal summon Infernal Knight Roland. Hey, yo, rolling. Yeah, we're rolling. Who? who? Oh, oh, Infernobles. Wait, weren't you playing this in roulette like last night or something? Ah, uh, Joseph got this you, pack. Joseph right. got this pack, yeah. Oh, right, okay. I'm going to reveal Fire Fire fuck lady. lady. Holy. Ooh, he's kind of popping off. I mean, okay. it's good if Gage's entire back row is just nothing. <laughs> That's but, true. We'll see. <laughs> Which, as we've seen, is very possible. Y yes. <laughs> <laughs> we probably cycle this for Malgus, right? Right, he's kind of popping off. Let's go. All right, does this pack have his old day? Oh, also, Gage, you played into the transversal column again. Uh, not that no. it matters. Not that no. it matters. I'm going to summon his old. Let's go. Oh, wait, he actually did have it. Ooh, the go for it. I like that Gage is screaming Ultra and it's rare. showing up on Farfus. That's a very nice pull, Doug. Yeah, I thought so he too. Eight equip spells from Deck to Graveyard and like summons Gear Freed out the deck. Yeah. I, I don't even. What's your best option here? I don't know. I don't know what you do. I mean, this pack. Blue, Blue Dragon Summoner. Oh, I don't want to give it too much away. This pack has Infernobles and the original Noble Knights, so don't lose your mind too much. Oh my god, you're going to summon Madrot on me? I'll lose my well, mind. Well, Madrot um, needs no monsters on field to use its effect, but yeah. But, I mean, you could still summon Madrot. I, I could. I, that could, is true. That is still true. Still blow my mind. All right, let's add Noble Knight Brothers. Brothers? It's just three brothers. Oh, okay. So this is like a, just a noble knight deck with sure, some extenders, yeah. probably. Um, let's activate this. Uh, All right, what are we are annoying to deal with. So, uh, <laughs> no ghastly here, so I think we're... I don't know Zen what chain rule cards boars? we have, but... Um, Ogier? Summon Armageddon Knight. Do a table the fuck do we do from this <laughs> position? Imagine? Not yeah, we're getting Ogier. I'm happy with it, but... Right, there's uh, Infernoble stuff going down. We're trying. We're trying. Armanite, yeah. Yes. We go Armanite, Sen, Vayu. The uh, lab traps. 
Okay. Uh, I pulled the fair welcome because like, you guys have seen that before. That's the only okay, one. But, like, that's Why the are we going Olivier happens. here? Yeah, that, I know it's not the big boy lab ones. I know it's not. He has to make do those. with what he has. What what else do you You know, like uh, at locals, you know, someone goes around and they say they're trying to buy like a vet core, right? And they're like, yo, d does anyone have any labyrinth cards? And then Gage pipes up and he's like, yeah, I have fair welcome labyrinth. <laughs> if you have something right here and you've let the both the facts of these old resolve, I'm going to be a little surprised. Would you be? Yeah. <laughs> are you just saying that? No. No, Gage is prepping something big. I, I can actually feel it. I'll use the uh, Ichiruko's Ooh. ledger book here. Okay. Okay, I see why he wasn't able to annoying. do that before. Yeah. Boys and okay, so I get it. Here. Yeah. Sure. He's actually cracked. What, what, do, what do I care? I, I what do you call that? Don't, don't I don't bother. I get life points, so who's the real winner Yeah, no here? problem, man. You enjoy those. You enjoy those life points. They may be the <laughs> last ones you ever get. Um, end phase, <laughs> oh. I'll hit you with this dust tornado. Ooh, fuck him up, Gage. All right. <clears throat> All right, all we need okay, is a so monster just, with um, 1,700 oh, attack, and we win. And then we'll give you the your one back. Man, Gage, I just can't get over how we're still using so many structure deck stuff. Dude, I can't either. I was literally just saying in my profile, God, like, we didn't I get to resolve for a Durandal. We're so still, fucked. Like, unironically. It's so hey, over. Can you explain? Can you, I, can you tell us what pack you went into? Uh, yeah, because you probably won't see the cards. No, we'll see it. We'll see it. We'll see it. <laughs> I'm oh, sure. Okay, that right, might so do there something. There are some new cards. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There, yeah there, he has to keep uh, on like dying. Very, very few. That's like Does Beta Banish from Grave? We could walk the back check in. Like normal Giant Rex, clear the board. All right, come on, someone Train relinquish. I know you time. Got it. Come on, come on, get you. Okay. Right. Oh, you know, um, I did play into that. <laughs> bro, I'm so mad. I, I have to worry about Geonator Transverser. I cannot believe this. Just um. don't summon <laughs> things. <laughs> There's only two columns that it takes, bro. It's just the middle column is so appealing. Hey, well, yeah, no, but now that I've opened it up and you brought it up, now, now I can't stop thinking about it. Now yeah. I'm like... This is a real She's thing. always in the extra, just lurking around, just in case you slip up for one moment. Gage, someone told me you only had one secret pack this week. <laughs> There's no way. I think you had two. I had two. But, but, okay, you know, close enough. So I, I had twice two as pack. much, but... Two. Oh, I guess it, it's <laughs> never happened in Saga before, but if you don't open Theoretically any could secret happen. pack, the rule is that you keep opening one master pack until you pull one. It, just in case okay, it comes I think up. I, it's never happened. I gotta play to mine out here. I gotta play Wow, that's just here. burning gems, Doug, because like, you don't get guaranteed. Yeah, that's well... feel super bad. Gotta try. Well, it's like it's a little unfair if you don't... It's opening 10 more. Okay, yep. Oh, giant Rex. He's giant, giant Rex, bro. Definitely not bigger than like the giant. I feel like if you open zero Zalba secret packs, you should just get to choose one at that point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's like the it's green really spot bad. on. He said that out loud. As PontoCon typed in chat, I wish if you opened zero packs, you got to choose which pack you'd get. Like exactly. At, is he reading our chat? A roulette wheel, like it, it's it's so rare that I mean it's never happened. Um, oh, okay. let's go. Fair welcome. Um, Wait, let's, let's go. I will pop. How is this better? Because I get to set a card. Um, that's that's true. It gets you the jelly. How do you know? Just for context, YouTube gauge uh, this this turn was ten minutes, so he can normal summon a giant Rex. Oh, hey, listen, I was taking my time. <laughs> it can edit it out. Back. That's fair. Dinomorphia frenzy from Oh, okay, we shit. Could do this. You have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were we laughing. Ha ha he he. Very funny. <laughs> Wacky. Be morbid now. What a weird oh, guy, shit. huh? Um, that's rough. You what know, the life point gain is actually good for you now. <laughs> that's and then I'll use really my, uh, scary. Beta evolution pill. Okay, I actually, I'm kind of fucked here, <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> Maybe and, it's fine. Uh, I will summon. I don't know which one I want to summon, bro. The Gigantazaur was putting in work. He's too Gig Gigantazaur, yeah. for sure. Oh, this one doesn't uh, banish. Not in the, so look at this. Look at this gameplay, bro. We learn. We grow every episode. Gigantazaller. The, right. the furthest oh, away wow. from safe from the transgender. Entirely this safe. This plays now, bro. around transverser and relinquish. <clears throat> the best zone is zone five. And I use my back jack. We get to restack the top three. Wait. What do I want to look at? Okay, this card's like actually good though. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, my it, god, these cards are nice. 38 um, adds back a thing and then, you know, floats in the cards that he's Giganta not playing probably, but... Oh, shuffle one. It doesn't even have to be a dinosaur. Wait, that's pretty oh, good. We're going to get pacifist Giga too. Dowler. Might be beckoned in the deck there. All right, yep. Add All right, we're set up. Uh I will go Wait, did he put pacifist on top? With my gigantic did... Zowler. The whole point of backjack okay. is then All you right, get to well, yeah, cheat a turn, see. right? I'm not too worried about Someone that one. Okay. Okay. Never mind. That's fine. About the, um, the frenzy. It's bad, too, because we're okay. going to fire the frenzy. Durendal. 
Oh, I'm dumb. Damn, I could have stacked this. I just didn't read my cards. Ah, okay. Well, so, there we go. Yeah. Well, no, I did read them. I just forgot one of my important effects. I'm silly. Oh my the god. The backjack was set. This harder. Uh, yeah, yeah, I forgot that part. <laughs> That's I don't have the That's experience the with burning a mist that you do, bro. Yeah, honestly. I know. Fiend griefing send backjack. That was the play, right? We're chilling. Let's add Roland. We got something. Um, I'm trying to think when Frenzy can. I mean, Frenzy can just go whenever, I feel like. So. It's uh, during your opponent's main phase. So yeah. When you have to be worried about it. Oh, Roland is so bad. It's Scarn. Yes, One yes of he the... is. He is not good. <laughs> Hey, just so you all know, I am about to post the Twitter thread. And it's going to be... What is your favorite hashtag synchro monster? Hold up, let me put my own. I would put Stardust. One hundred Twitter threads. Oh, let me get like the lowest res image possible. Exhausting just to think about. <laughs> it's Scarm, yeah. Um... And guess what? Scarm isn't good either. <laughs> <laughs> you take that back. <laughs> <laughs> um, how do I out a 3800? That's the real question here. I was hoping you'd say that. Let's activate <laughs> Oliver. Mm -hmm. Discarding Magius. Yup. Yup. Activate effect. Put back a couple of these. I opened the Magius. Always that last turn would have been pretty good. Because the old wouldn't have been able to be destroyed by battle. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter because you had the... Yeah, never mind. Never mind. Um, okay. All right, the question is, do we have Isolde too? You know, it'd be... Does he have another eight equip spells in the deck to, to send uh, to the graveyard? This deck might, to be fair. Let's go... Ooh! What do we got? Captain what do we got? Oh, Oliver. Okay. Oh, my man. Who's Oliver. this? Um, Oliver. He's Oliver, but when he gets promoted. All right, I am thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is okay. Oh, Leva. Um, oh, okay. Leva. Set card? Never it's has anyone card. asked yeah, for more. Yeah, let's equip the Magius. What's Magius do here? Oh, it just equips himself. Doesn't do anything else. Uh, it uh, makes it cannot be destroyed by battle. battle. Sure. Doug, your Captain Oliver is just the worst version of Sigma. Just saying. <laughs> Look, or man, Magma, we rather. all can't open the Sigma. Not everyone is a like, Sigma. What, what do you What do you want me to say? To Not everyone is a Sigma. Goober Goober wants to leave the <laughs> <laughs> I gotta play, though. I gotta play. Gage's... Okay, sure I see why you all are calling this the gas leak episode. Someone has to check Gage's residence. Want it to work? Right, so right, right. Oh, right. wow. The battle phase. How original. Sorry. Took me a minute just to make... I wanted to make sure... How original. Too. I'm gonna use the uh, the frenzy here. For yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, seems pretty good. Half your life point. That was wrong. Send this guy. Send this guy. Uh, Nick says guy. penis fart. Thanks, Nix. Wait, what? what happened to the, the video there? That oh wasn't me. Oh my god! No! <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Wait. What? Then this what guy. Do do? Summon this guy. Oh no. He sent Rex term. He didn't act. He didn't summon Rex term. He sent Rex term. Wait. What? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh my god! That's no. a DZ click right there if I've ever seen it. 
I hope you're summoning the pterodactyl right here. Believe it! <laughs> A disaster. Dude, how did I? How did I accomplish this? Does this do anything? Wait. Anybody? So what do you do? What do you? What is he doing? What is he summoning? Say the tunnel. What is he doing? The words. How, I don't. How does it resolve? I don't even know though. He like, doesn't have a target. Four thousand. The Rex term. I mean, you would just put this guy to four thousand. No, because it pays <laughs> half. No, it pays half, and then your guys at two thousand. It is effects negated. Doug, oh, I just no. put this in the wrong column. Still the burger. <laughs> 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 it a like a <laughs> All right, well, I guess now you made oh it a God. little easier on me. I'm going to normal summon Noble Knight Brothers now that we're in the main phase. Oh, my God, bro. This is unforgivable. How did I fuck this up? Oh, my gosh. You are actually my favorite streamer, Gage. I've always said this. Gage, I lost a game against MBT in Saga one time because I activated Kaiju Slumber and gave him the higher attack. So that I is true. That, that, that was I during the 15. I feel alone for making this bozo play. Yeah, who reads the UI? I just click buttons. Because it probably, yeah, I mean, you sent the one on deck. That's probably a different... <laughs> box and then you clicked the it asked it gave you fusion I'm, so, I'm so sorry yeah, buddy no, 100% yeah. I've probably done this before as well somewhere at some point I don't let's, know let's... what to say bro I'm so embarrassed I made like eight <laughs> plays in this one game bro this game My has favorite... been three tur four turns and I've made like 17 misplays <laughs> no <laughs> <And> no <laughs> My favorite part of Gage is that when he's embarrassed or something some people when they're embarrassed they like shut down they're like oh Gage talks more he immediately begins yapping and he says like oh man i can't believe i fucked that up i'm so embarrassed i can't believe it i just really uh, it's awesome i deserve this i deserve no this no <laughs> um okay let's let's go ahead and don't be down on yourself this. buddy well, don't worry, Gage. Your friends he played like actually made the. Oh, video. we're so dead. We're so uh, we're actually dead here. here. We we're, he have his life points. We're fucking dead. Let's activate Excalibur. We're dead. Have you guys familiar? Are you familiar with this card? You guys read this one before? Is this the targeting am, one or something? Actually. It's yeah, um, the one that uh, X Y Z is on top, bro. It, yes. Like, is another. Oh, one. A we're crazy so dead. This off on me. Yeah. You had an, you are Mr. King Artorius here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bro, got a lot of good uh, ultras here. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, twenty-two. Almost. I mean, I'm <laughs> yeah, below eight thousand like now. So. <laughs> um. Yeah. We'll this. We're dead. Um, we so what does this one do? Does it float? I can't believe it. One four lower. Well, you only have Diplo, so I guess it doesn't really matter. What does this one do? Shuffle one normal monster, uh, which you don't have. Okay. We'll Isn't go. Isn't this thing supposed to like equip everything from the grave or something? Yeah, so it did. Like it, it did. <laughs> We just, we don't have a lot in the grave. Okay. What do you want from me? <laughs> sure. All right. I just remember Noble Knight having like this guy that just has like six swords. Like, yeah. you know, general fucking grievous Noble Knight. All right. Yeah, See with Kaiser. Yeah, those were the good days. Um, What are we got in the Simpler grave? times. One, two. Um, one, two, three. Yeah, we can do this. Okay. Activate brothers. Go this one. This one and this one. Excuse me. Oh, this guy's an avarice as well? Okay. Yeah, yeah, this deck actually has, you know, two avarices. Kinda. Why is every deck Doug plays just got a themed avarice? Like, that's. You know, nice. I just like shuffling. I really like shuffling and drawing, you know? That's. Oh. Uh, all right. Yep. That's definitely. That's Morgan! That is in the deck. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's every Noble Knight so, player. I guess we don't right. need to do this now. card so, is in the deck. So. Isn't Morgan, like, uh, new? Attack? Effect? Uh, this is game, right? Please, like, mill mirror force. Bro, <laughs> come on. One jelly time, cannon, one time. Oh, deck shuffled. Jelly, right, jelly okay. cannon, yeah. one time. No thanks, uh, Gage. No. <laughs> get it out of here. No! Oh, oh damn. Just, 2018 like, card. Yeah, that's what I thought. It does. Wow. Okay. The old annoying ass card you had to play was Lady of the Lake. Morgan. That card was terrible. Or Merlin, if you were playing that. You know, this this deck was not very good for a long time. The, uh, the Destiny actually re equips you. Attack declaration. This has a graveyard effect? Oh, it does. It floats. <laughs> yeah, it floats in a Diplo. Ooh. Whoa, let's go. I this sounds it. like a Whoa. Diplo song. Right, beep, 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 beep. Oh, zero. Okay. Oh. Yeah. I forget. Wow, that's kind of crazy. That all happened in this declaration. So we can just. Okay. 
Um, I actually can hit with brothers. I do control exactly three noble knights. <laughs> He's got the brothers. On that guy, Just three brothers. You know, Rexstorm oh, would go fucking crazy here. I acknowledge this guy had a restriction on him. Are you a Bluey um, fan? No, I I'm kind of <laughs> No, I'm 29. No. Yeah, to be fair. Bluey is uh, for four-year-olds and 34-year-olds. Catch me in five years. I'm sure I'll love it. Summon two guys from high, not bad. Um, did I take all the cards out of my... Why can't this activate? I don't remember... Oh, we're still in the battle phase. <laughs> All right, 600 life points. This is just where yeah. Dynamorphia players want to be. Um, <laughs> probably this is this actually fine, Gage. You got this. One. Yeah, let me get my Rexstrom back somehow, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, you only have one. This is so sad. Well, it was a UR. It was a UR. Uh, yeah, Ferret Flames. Let's go. I mean, go ahead, man. Thanks, dog. I'll try my best. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. It happens. Yeah, uh, yeah. You got I mean, honestly, that was like I think I'm the like, first like I'm big so misclick, and dude. it's like turn it, episode five, so that's fine. Wow, I'm honored so to be the first man. season five, bro. Honored. I he dude, had that, that game eight ways from Sunday. He could that's, not have lost crazy. that game from that position. He found the losing line. Crazy. I just that. Like Trump in the sneakers. Kind of combo, <laughs> it's unbelievable. Let's activate unexpected die crush cards where's what? that counter at eight activations so far in season why would five? we not activate uh, and i Go ascended sage first right? master saga oh it doesn't staple. matter actually Back. it doesn't matter all right let's summon oliver wait you're not gonna say anything farfa you were making fun of me for playing this guy last week i think that he's this is week six well i would but it was almost in my deck list this week so. oh <laughs> Um, fours, you know, man, what can I say? They're too good. No, let's go this one. Yeah. This one actually is going to be an interesting one. All Horn right. of Oliphant's a really now, good this card. This season I summoned Liquid Beast. It was, <laughs> yeah. The Ascended yeah, Sage yeah, is yeah. strange because I don't think it yeah, actually yeah, changes yeah, anything. We would just oh, retain boy. a monster uh, in the hand. This time I didn't open Jeez. both Magiuses, so I could actually fucking do this. <laughs> man. Yeah, let's send this. I'm gonna activate that. Go Maugius. Um, yeah, we're going to do Three that. of the... Uh, the Put swords back, draw that, card. That you know how it goes. Woo! Damn. He's crazy. Whoa. He's so Absolutely. nice with it. Oh, he's not even going to yeah, do it. There's it there's really not a reason strong, to do it right now. Pretty good. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. going to do it. All right. Fuck off Kinda me. Kind of sucks that we won't get this search, but that's fine. Who needs right, to search we're extended. Anyway? These two, I'm actually a little afraid of you just killing me so go Fence oh put him in run. attack Ridiculous. come on like, oh you, yeah no it's totally have like a... so now i'm ending on a zold that is uh not targetable not destroy and not destroyable by battle or card effects this is what the deck's supposed to do going first but i open right. both of the anyway we could just I can't, set I can't too. Right. god this is such a good okay. fucking you actually setup. might have of all the people you might have the malgus back in the back you, row you also crazy that can hit back row so it's a little oh, little sigma nice. can just punch her really hard admittedly yeah yeah no that's that's the other thing i cannot put the link monster in defense all right that wow, only fan okay, looking good back row okay relax so wait what is this a 1600 guy like that, a tower it's towers yeah, yeah yeah it's a 1600 towers that, no this is you didn't even notice nadir you didn't notice my my rank this. i i'm actually in i've been testing this in the ranked mode i'm in bronze now i can't so. believe you guys oh, play ranked. Go, okay with your deck. this is the first time this is the first time i was like i think this is good enough and actually a lot of people in ranks could not out this and then i just killed them so it's Never only fair very well against after you, Doug. I don't know why. What? Never really seemed to draw well against you for some reason. Oh, thank God. This is just, you know, karma for get, get locking Gage out of the game, you know, with the final <laughs> Sigma. This is my final Sigma. So these are all like okay. Zoldi, right? Okay. Yes. I always get like the trashest hands against you, Doug. I don't know why. <laughs> like, oh, what am I doing? This is going to be one of those where the comment section is, they should be playing best of threes. We're not going to upload three hour videos. <laughs> Well, think the of the is, ad like, revenue you though are playing like two games like you are playing as many games as you would play in a best of three so it's like i don't know mind it being the best of one actually yeah it's the game's kind of uh, exciting uh, no i, I think it's, it's definitely rough. the the right thing um okay you're just dead sorry oh. uh, <laughs> all right good <laughs> oh and i'm dead as well <laughs> Jesus, okay. yeah you're just dead <laughs> i mean maybe not maybe not Wait, what know. the fuck was Damage that it's kind of rough i did not what was that <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite part of the video. Here we go. I'm dead as well. Jesus, okay. Yeah, you're just dead. <laughs> just completely silent. Yeah, you're just dead. I mean, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Damage it's the, like, the muffled, like, uh, 
a master duel music in the background. And I'm dead as well. <laughs> Is it, yeah, you're just dead. I mean, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Damage is kind of rough. I, love I did not pull any of the attacks. Genuinely 10 of 10 no bit. It's 100 of 100 bit. Be waking the dragon. Yeah, waking the dragon or, you know, perhaps. He said. Um, target this random back crow. Okay, all right. <laughs> so what does it say? You send one card from your hand to the grave. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Oh, wait, I should. I forgot that. Oh, wait, no, no, that's not that card. Oh, yep. shit. I'm, I thought I was discarding here. What is this? It is discarding. Whatever. No, it's no, sent from it's, hand uh, to graveyard. I, I clicked chain. You clicked I, was, the, I, was, I thought the I was eagle. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. A couple, a couple misclicks. Uh, doesn't matter too much anyway. God. Yeah. Um. Oh, so you're still discarding eagle booster. Perfect. Why are we doing, doing shark this? Shark cannon. Oh yeah. Oh my god, we're trying to that. not die. I knew a whole hell of a lot though. That thing's go. Negated him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, babe. He said that was pretty bad, actually. Is old. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude! Send Cage four. lost to this. I can't yeah, what a deck. It. Um, what do we have in hand? Okay, let's go. It's so crazy that Farfa's deck is sometimes like exactly. an unkillable, um, towers back. turbo this machine, is... and sometimes it does that. Yeah, just those same ones again. Yep. Put him back. Draw a card. Okay, uh, yeah, I can I can deal with that. That's pretty good. Yeah, no, I I don't think I'm actually killing you. I don't think this deck can do enough damage. Um, you know, I got my three rays this week as well. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I think this is actually. Wait, more did you go back into one of your damage. packs you already opened? He did. Yeah, yes. that's how he pulled Wait, it. Why the oh fuck god, are we doing so that? So funny. Um, I pulled the uh, I pulled Arlequino, uh, which allowed me to go back in. What do you have on I... summon here? What could you? How did yeah, you have it a, a response? Wait, Arlequino, like the amazement guy? Yeah, so I got... I've, that allowed you to I've, open the math mech? No, so I, I, I pulled the same secret packs as week what one. What are we so doing? I had the option why can to like, just what is he... reinvest, essentially. Wait, why except, did I not... Except, except the turn of the Okay, Sentry a little bit of a misplay. A little bit of a misplay. <laughs> um, that's actually really bad, because now I have a 500 attack monster in attack position. But, I thought we were uh, making like fine. Gaia Knight. He's got 8,000 life. He's got one card. I think you're okay. Dude, that Sigma can do... It would do 5,000 damage if it attacked that. A little scary. Farf didn't play around Transverser. I think he just figured I wouldn't get rid of the Azold with three equips, actually. But... Yeah. Oh, yeah. I also did not play around that. It is what it is. <laughs> He's like, no, I actually was not thinking at all. Yeah, no, like, I can't be targeted. Or equip cards. Make make a guy saber. Oh, I guess I could. Yeah, just get rid of it. So there's like a l slightly less chance that you can just kill me with Sigma. Sure. Oh. We'll make the guy a saber. You know, I maybe I should have included oh, the hell traffic yeah. ghost into hell the deck. Yeah. Um. All right. Go this ahead. Has an animation. Oh I yeah. Guy saber guy, was right. tight guy, back in the you know, day. The animations to the most powerful Link threes in the game. Notably, this guy was super powerful for a very short period of time when level eater decks could theoretically you link but there wasn't a downward pointing link that could sit in the extra monster zone and not be walked over like if you were making the you link with triple firewall instead of with um nightmare phoenix which you usually you occasionally did have to do you would have to put a guy in the emz that couldn't be outed by battle and you would put in him over link karibo gaia saber and back when we had nothing we literally Arm. had nothing Let's add Durindle. This guy, he was Go playable ahead. when Lynx first came out because he's an almost generic, on, you know, three. Deck. I mean, to be fair, you know, Guy Saber has been in YCS deck lists. Yeah. In spiral format, so popping off. Okay. All right. Uh, let's play a little bit of the game finally. Am I dead? Activate Bestial Siren here. Okay, okay. Targeting your light monster. Oh, my God. Six plus Rude. four. Six oh, plus four. Summon. Oh god, you have a tuner? Is it happening? Normal finally? summon math mech it sigma. It is finally ha okay. Oh my fair. god, he got, he got Wait. the sigma. He can't make Geo Math Mech Final Sigma because it's a twelve. But no. <laughs> um, Shit. And now we make a uh a bear. Yeah. Um, I think this is the first time you summon this, right? Because you don't have too many tuners, or you didn't have too many tuners. Um, Bonnie so wants you over for. If I put this in the EMZ, pussy. it keeps my striker card hey, alive. But if I put it in the EMZ, why don't you I come over here and? Uh, 
So um, see if there's a I have gas to choose like, do I want to use Sigma next turn if I live, or do I want to make sure my striker cards are alive? I feel like it's always you're Sigma. getting slacks. That's I will my just favorite family guy deck moment. Deck monsters, you're right, Gage. Exactly. All right. <laughs> Or you can top deck striker cards and you can still play them, bro. Like, you can still, like, play any of your striker cards. Well, no, I can't play my striker it. cards. Now mm. you can't, because now he's in the main monster zone. Yeah, but so it's like, I have to choose. Do I want my striker cards to be live or Sigma to be live? Yeah, because Sigma requires nothing in the EMZ. Strikers require nothing in the main monster zone. Um, I'm wondering if I He's figuring it out. Here. No, wait. <laughs> Sigma has to Another killer cut! Look at this! Um, I'm wondering if I use my Sirenir here. No, wait, you guys are weird. Good. Sigma has to be in the <laughs> Stop doing him dirty, crush cards! No! They keep keep cutting over his like, extra monster zone. Gage, what? you are have you to use special Sigma from the grave by having no monsters in your EMZ. I I don't understand. <laughs> It, but steel is heavier than feathers. I, I don't get it. I really don't know why you made this play. All right, don't worry about it. Oh, rude. Now do you see I have a level eight synchro play gauge because Sigma is live. Oh, you're talking about the regular Sigma. I was referring. Oh, to he was the final, final Sigma. Sigma. I mean, and then I also realized about, I am not. They are both named Sigma. Play. Okay, all right. I mean, oh, Sigma's still pretty good. Okay. So I, 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 I'm completely. I mean, that's gonna like okay. kind of deal with this board, so. A little, a little yeah. scary. So yeah, we're just gonna go into uh, Geo Math Max Sigma. Like, do I put in the EMZ? No. Definitely. That guy's a streamer Snap, now. Lemmy. Lemmy's so good. Mm. Lemmy's the one of the best streamers. What did he do? The Unitor trans. Gone. Okay, so you can't yeah. make fun of Gage because it, it, it's transverse hard to remember. Zone. Like it's the anima <laughs> thing, you know. He's, uh, he's the okay. only guy you have to worry about. I'm banning it next time for the ban. <laughs> ban transverser. Gage. Don't ban the transgender. Wait, it's annoying how oh, this like, only impossible it is to deal with. Gage, the, uh, don't be a problematic ally. Isolde. Yep. Yeah, yeah, so we can't out the towers I sold. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so when can this negate? It has to shuffle back a lighter. Deck, That's right? pretty good. It has to shuffle back your card to negate. It shuffles back okay. his to pop. Um, so he has a pop right Yeah, now. I mean, let's start with Isolde. You know, <laughs> why, why change a good thing? This stupid That's fucking boring. Malgus play is the funniest shit well, ever. I've shu I just to do it every turn. Every time I do the combo, so it's like... Farfo's not figured it out yet. He's like, how do you have this many equips? I, I should've just used the magma. I should've kept your guy banished so I could negate with Dissipator, maybe. Why? Powers as oldie is really funny, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm trying like, to think here. I mean, I'm I guess the one I with do... the final Sigma. Can we do a board? Doug is out here God, with like I an unaffected. I, I don't really know what we're meant to do. We don't um, have a clean way to beat this entire board. These are big boys. I don't even. Sorry. Um. Because I mean, I think it's like I wish I had like one more noble knight. I'm sure it's fine. Um. No, I mean. Hold on. Let me count something real quick. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, yeah. What are you counting? What is going on? What do you like to know what I'm counting? <laughs> what are you counting? Um, you know, for the second time today, we'll summon the back end. There he is. Let's go. Let's go. It's too powerful. It's too good. Um, yeah, let's activate Durendal. Let's add. What are we this getting? Thing. Okay. See you later. And then. Oh with, my god. Like 10 warriors in grave. <laughs> Holy shit. What is this? Colossal fighter. Brother. That's so big. No, no way. It's not even that big to be fair. What the hell? Uh, excuse oh, me, sir. Enough, it's bro. just he's, big oh, enough. Big enough actually, you. So. It's, big, it's pretty big, but it's not as big as you think for like 10 warriors. <laughs> Oh my god, if only you had one less, you could have crashed it into this potter and brought it back. Yeah. Oh, that would, cool. that would have um, been crazy. Yeah, I think I still have to. I, yeah, I think I have to hit this one. Oh, hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Um, yeah, I mean. It's pretty good. Seen bigger, that's true. Quip. All right. We should have done yeah, that pre-combat so we could crash it in. Um, that would have been killer. Tell me now. Tuner, 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 tuner. Oh my god! 
Wait. Oh my god! We win. Dog! Hey! Dog! That's we win. a tuner monster! We Wait, why do you want it? Why did he want a tuner? Tuner. Now you have two tuners. Yeah, you got two tuners now. Uh. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Well, this he did a 180 into Tucker Carlson. He was like, yeah! What is going on? No so way! A, this episode's been a nightmare, bro. There's no way! <laughs> it's, been a, it's the gas There's leak no episode. Way. This, is a, this is a tuner? <laughs> yeah, I bro. love the way Farfa says tuner. He's got that, like, accent. He calls it a tuner. It's a tuner. This is the oh. worst monster in my deck. Yeah. Hey, man, you said you wanted to draw a tuner. You drew a tuner. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. you, got, you careful what you I'm going to start for, calling you know? them tunners. <laughs> What's funny is even if the Sigma was engraved, you still would only have tuners. <laughs> no, well, the, the Sigma, Sigma can, can be used as a non -tuner. Oh, right, 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 right. Oh, yeah. We learned that. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> you could transverse or the Colossal Fighter. It's perfect oh, because my. they literally pointed out Magno was a tuner during Gage's game. Not to steal uh, Jules's bit, but sometimes foreshadowing can be relatively obvious. Oh, my God, I'm so sad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh <dang. laughs> All right, everyone's had, you know, some oh moments today. Yeah. Um, Doug, how have you resolved this only three times and not won the game, by the way? Can I just no, say I, don't, I don't have Caliburn or the 1000 one, whatever that is. So I literally, like, I just don't, other than, like, Colossal we Fighter, have to pass I don't really have here. ways to, like, We're going to fucking die to Colossal Fighter beats. Um, no! Even when I summon that, like, big Artorgius, it only has 22. So that's not even, like, that good. Oh, Merlin! Oh, this card so fucking bad. sucks, so man. <laughs> <laughs> this card's uh, bad. Why is he a tuner? <laughs> Merlin! Oh, my God, man. Um, one, two, three. I don't think I can activate this. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's activate this. You got the Homestuck Brain Worms, oh Laura. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> what an episode, dude. What yeah. An episode. Oh, I'm loving it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for this. I mean, to be fair, it's can you over. even call him this play? Like, what am I really going to do anyway? Yeah, I know. Like, you know, pass on magma, I guess. <laughs> We're going to fill up the back row here. Yeah, Check this out. Oh, really God. Cool what I did a misplay, right? Like, um, it was all fun no in combat. the game, right? Honestly. It's all fun in games <laughs> until you try and synchro with two chinners. <laughs> am I still alive? Yeah. I can't. No way. You're, You're letting him get your deck a so too. Oh what do you mean, Luddy? What am I going to do? Leave it up? Are you kidding me? What are you... <laughs> oh, shit. We're gonna die to fucking super Talk factorial. <laughs> this this is the longest um, episode ever. I'm not sure like really what he, he doesn't have Definitely circular thing, like. I mean he has a super factorial, doesn't he? Oh, but he doesn't have any other. He doesn't have any other math max. Can you super factorial yeah, the magma? Yeah, two, oh, but he only has two tuners. Work, You're right. right? Fuck. I just summon diameter and. Yeah, it's just sigma, and I can't synchro with them. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> we need it. We get equation, yeah. Why don't we just take equation here. Fair. <clears throat> Let's hit this. Oh! He just fat fingered the uh, the no button there. I just missed the though. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, I did. I could have used the Oliver. I just. I, I, I honestly clicked it in less than a second. I right clicked in nope. like. W like <laughs> Frame one. Nope. Okay. The pop up Level happened, four. and I was like, nope. Don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Why four. would I like to? Level four. Level four. Not tuner. Oh, that's really level rough. Four. That's that's unfortunate. Level four. Level um, four. Level four. Le game. Level four. Level four. Not. Oh! He wins. No way. No. 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 Wait. You get it? <laughs> Summon magma. Oh my god, dude. There's right, no way you can go two zero. Oh. It was all part of the fucking plan, baby. <laughs> it was all part of the fucking plan. <laughs> Just like we drew it up! <laughs> Woo! This shit was rigged from the start! I, I'm still alive. Battle phase! Double damage! Uh, it's not and double now, damage. Now, break my oh, board, is. Doug. We're back it in this again. Damage. Let's go! Let's mean, go! Break your board. Attack with. Wait, we're just dead here, right? We just get to attack over it? Why was I so hyped for this? This doesn't change anything. The Colossal Fighter <laughs> breaks the board. Yeah, what? It, what um. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
<laughs> this is the gas leak episode. This is such a good Wait. episode. Wait, what? I can just attack with Colossal Fighter. Fighter. 3,400 attack points, right? Uh. <laughs> did you not? Did you forget that he's that big? I I thought it was just the towers, bro. I can't believe this, bro. <laughs> just assuming the effect of this. We have to do to mimic a fraction of, of our power. Towers is named after a guy that can be killed by battle. <laughs> it didn't matter if he's a tower. Look at his stats. I, I, oh, I know, but like towers and battle as well. <laughs> What the fuck are you doing? Oh, you thought your final Sigma was. I attacked over it in your first match! I literally did this exact thing! <laughs> 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 okay, so, uh, yeah, I should have went, uh, please, reborn. please kill him, please Magma, kill him. 35, punch should have done a lot of things. Get to destroy the oh my god. Fighter. Please go. Destroy destroyed by battle. Yeah, it's only by battle. Shit. Yeah, then I destroy the Roland by battle. End the game, uh, god this. damn it, it please. Um, oh, no. and then I make this in main phase two. Oh. No! All right. Well, it took me a lot of turns, but oh. uh, we did oh, eventually get in there. Everyone, this this episode I think really Yo, does can I, can I showcase the importance of no, working carbon Absolutely. monoxide can detectors. I a, can, I a, can I get a homie draw? Please? No. Doug? No. Nope. No. Come on, bro. Come on. No. Nope. Be really funny. Think nope. of the ad revenue, Doug. Come yep, on. Yep. Yep. See you later. I oh. We, I think if we are doing anything this episode, it's, uh, we gotta step our fucking game up, bro. That was <laughs> The choice to have three people in Saga, legitimately, I would say, do you know that Soviet nuclear physicist who got a notification that a missile strike was inbound for Russia and elected not to retaliate with a nuclear response, saving the world from nuclear winter? That was the second best decision in human history. The first is putting three people on Saga. This shit is so fucking bad. It's so Gotta funny. Gotta slow down and read the UI. Oh my god. Um, the ability for one of them to fuck up and both players to immediately be able to clown on them for it. Oh. oh my god. Let's see what Gage's deck is. We never nervous. saw what his new archetype nervous. was. What's oh. new? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That's what you're thinking, right? No, Wait. I, my pulls were abysmal. Wait, did you get baited by the out. Light Sworn pack? No, I didn't get baited. Oh. I didn't have a choice. Okay, dude. chat. I had two baited. choices yeah, okay. for Seeker packs. I pulled no Ultra Rares at all this week. Yeah. <laughs> Not a single one. But also in my uh, my Master packs, the only two Seeker packs I got were the Light Sworn one or the Baron de Fleur one. And Baron's, wow. Baron's good. The Baron was good. I was like, yeah. Yeah. You could have played Doug's like, deck. I guess I'll just play Light Sworn, and there was nothing to do with mm. it. I got like. Two Rydens to buff out a playset, but there's What's nothing that rank to do with that. He wasn't a physicist. He was working on a nuclear sub. Zero. No, no, no. I'm thinking about there was one Aramet, in. It's like new. It shuffles back. I'm thinking of a different guy. A card. Oh, sh like, whoa! Oh. That's crazy Actually for your good. deck. That's yeah, it's kind of cool. Oh, Anakin's uh, special summon. Oh, I didn't even notice we pulled this. Okay, I'm gonna see Nadir's deck, and I'm probably gonna be like, "How the fuck did I win? Let's see what it is." How did you win? How the fuck did you win? My brain like clicked on like nothing. Yeah, he 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 did what he could to lose that game. <laughs> That's how. Wait, what did you get from your run back with the uh, the striker bath mech pack? Uh, he got, uh, got Ray. He didn't have three any rays, rays, and I got a final sigma. Okay, Third so you didn't have the final sigma before. I'm thinking of a guy who no. makes me not wrong. I had the magma, True. Which was really good. Um, <clears> good. I drew like. I'm thinking of the nothing ever happens guy. And then heartbeat, and I still like could have won that. I'm so silly. <laughs> Could you have? I am so like, silly. True? Is that true? Did you actually have yeah, a Yeah, because I reborn I reborn the guy. He gets a thousand attack. He's 35. Magma, attack your Roland. Damage step, mm. he gets to pop two cards. Pop Colossal Fighter, pop a random thing. Main phase two, normal summon, make Sigma. You can't mm -hmm. out it. Yeah, I hope. I don't know. True. I assume you can't make a guy bigger than 3,000. Yeah, it would have been It would have been tough. It would have been tough. Um, you can take a look so, at my deck. It it's, um, I okay, so I know that I like won there and the deck looked crazy. I did miss a lot. Of cards in this pack. Um, like what I is this? What do you do? You have a Zolde. You have, you have three Oliver. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't pull the, the level one. That, He's like, so upset. Um, He's like, how did I lose itself. to this fucking um, shit? Of those. I didn't pull most okay. of the equip oh spells. Um, He's crying. Yeah, no, this what do is like. Trap cards do? 
the trap card. This one oh, is crazy. until a noble arms uh, are needed once again is nuts. Uh, based on how many noble arms you have, and then add one to your hand, Oops, sorry, and then no. in the graveyard it is just a free special summon. And then this one is Horn banishing of Holy the is nuts from your too. graveyard field to pop a card. So until the noble arms are needed once again. <laughs> uh, that's not so bad, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. No, it has plays. It has plays. I was a little worried, but it definitely has plays. Um, see you guys next week. That was a hell of a ban list episode. <laughs> That was so good. That was the best episode of Saga I've ever watched. I'm sorry, but this deck... Yo, y'all got anything nice to say about my deck? I don't think one person has said something that decent, bro. I've, I've heard it's booty butt cheeks. I've heard the, the owl is laughable. I know the owl of luck is laughable. The owl of luck is, unironically, probably the most unluckiest card we have in our deck. <laughs> Doesn't anyone have anything nice to say? I I love I love holy shit. This this series is so goddamn good. This series is so good. It's the best it's the best thing on YouTube right now. I swear to god. Holy fuck. Uh Gage Gage is legitimately he's the missing piece. He is the glue that ties it all together. Holy shit. Oh wait, Danny, are we not doing Wait, are we not doing Pegasusy tonight? Uh oh. I th I don't know if we have time to do it tomorrow. I'm at school. We've never done it on Thursday. That's not true. No, we've never done it on Thursday. We do it on my stream. We've done it on your Friday stream. And we've done it on your Tuesday stream. Oh, oh. Do it Friday. I'm in Vegas. Oh. And that's all I could say was, oh. Uh, I guess I could do it tomorrow if you're willing to do it late. Like at 10? Is that... That's what we're gonna do. All right, let's let's do it then. Yeah. All right. See you then, buddy. Pegasus IRL at Vegas. Danny's not going to Vegas. No, now I mean. Oh. We don't have to do it now. We can do it tomorrow. We still have to like set it up and everything. It's it's okay. We'll do it tomorrow. Do it now. Get it out of the way. Okay. We'll do it. Fuck it. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. All right. Let's do it. Oh yeah, saga memes. Let's do the memes. Kids, don't let your memes be dreams. Uh Master C Saga season five in Earth Two. <laughs> Two people in this series are scared of a trans queen coming out. Goes to show you what a real king looks like. Why I don't read. Here, breathe in some cyanide gas. Thank you, Jesus. This won't hurt my baby. Ten years later. <laughs> Last week's prog meme. This refocusing on London also gave the RAF breathing space to reorganize. So he kind of shot himself in the foot there. Just the foot for now. <laughs> Jesus. Doug picking packs. Farfa picking packs. Gage picking packs. True. Farfa, the Zeef, Gage, the Beta. True. Give me a tuner. Give me a tuner. Give me a tuner. Yep. Doo, 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 doo. Final Sigma being instantly answered. Sex. Gage's eternal looming threat. <laughs> the dinos are easily out of all. Rexstrom's floodgate barely comes up. His deck's the weakness. Dezeef. Farfa. 
Gage, TBA. Gage, low effort meme. Farfa with 13 packs. Gage with two. The polycule has evicted Gage. No. Final Sigma about to face Giganta Zowler. <laughs> Momento de Gage. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That is what happened. Listen, does anyone have anything nice to say? Wait, if we're doing it now, what decks are we playing? Let's do it tomorrow. Let's do it tomorrow. Let's do it tomorrow. We're not going to fucking... It's, it's better... Why? Because then we have time to plan this type of shit. Oh, like you're going to plan it anyway? I plan so much shit on Thursdays. You're just going to forget tomorrow too? Bet. 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 <sighs> Let's do the fucking thread. Let's do the Twitter thread. Jesus Christ. People are getting on my freaking nerves. Hey everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka MBT, and we are back with another Twitter thread. Folks, this is our 100th Twitter thread. 100 Twitter threads. Exhausting just to think about. How can we read 100 Twitter threads? The thought of all those Twitter threads makes me weak. And thank you to Dyer for breaking her vow of silence for this momentous occasion. This is a joke that one person is getting. If that. Hi, MBT. How do you goon with boxing gloves on? There's the person. <laughs> so I am happy to say that after our two years of doing this week in, week out, we have finally run out of questions. I've long maligned the fact that prior to good posters like myself and... I don't know, Jaxel? Entering Yu-Gi-Oh! Twitter, every single Yu-Gi-Oh! post looked like this. What is your favorite hashtag synchro monster? Hashtag Yu-Gi-Oh! Hashtag Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. So today we're throwing in the towel and asking the hard questions. Mine is the Stardust Dragon. And look at this beautiful picture that I found online. No, Stardust is just iconic. It's crazy that this card is powerful for, like, almost a decade. They really knocked it out of the park with this character's ace, and I'm just so happy that it saw so much play for so long. It doesn't get better than this. Let's see what you all think is better than this. <sighs> Jewel says, I love the punk engine. A big part of why of it... Jewel says, I love the punk engine. A big part of why is that I adore Dragon Drive. It's a great Bridget. What? I think that's supposed to be Bridge, but she plays too much Guilty Gear. You haven't lived until you've grabbed Pensaplume with it. Gooey Belt! I love this fucking guy. He's a common. He's a cool dragon. He has an interesting effect. He feels like a knockoff Simer dragon. Siner dragon. He feels like a knockoff Sina dragon. If he existed back in 5Ds, he would have been every kid's boss monster in their playground deck. I love him for that. I do appreciate that they're still printing cards that look like they came out in 2010. And the number one reason why Kui Belt is fantastic, he has the classic Yu-Gi-Oh! Dragon Orbs! Unicorn. GCD, you are... You're spitting. 
It was so awesome back when Obedience School first came out and it was using stuff like Reckless Veiler Midchain to help manipulate your hand size as an interrupt. A bit more recently, I've seen it with the Runic cards, which I love to see. God, what a cool card. Fabled Runic is off and on rogue playable right now. Would it shock you to know that this card is the cornerstone to one of the winningest Tengu plant decks right now? Fabled Unicorn is just such a funny card. Negate at resolution is just such a wonderful effect and I can't believe they put it on a card this playable. Great hashtag question of the week, Joseph. Personally, I like Stardust, but Junk Warrior is the way cooler Yusei monster. Like this post if you're a 5Ds fan. Hashtag Yu-Gi-Oh, hashtag Yu-Gi-Oh TCG, hashtag anime, you got it. Ugh, fuck off. Meow says, it has to be this enigma of a synchro monster. The only legally playable prize card that has never received a reprint. Wait, this guy was in the show and they called him something else? And next, I'll tune level 4 Snow the Rope Dart with level 4 Hail the Iron Hammer! Now, the power coursing through the veins of these two warriors will become one! I summon forth the Synchro Monster, Crimson Mephist! Oh. This is a good one, yeah. I think the Goku, <laughs> I think the Goku Ultra Instinct is pretty good. Wait, this motherfucker is level ten. <laughs> What's level twelve? Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, one hundred. Oh, holy shit! Is that What's pizza? On? Oh my god, pizza! Divine Beast, pizza will pwn you, and you win the game as soon as summed. <laughs> One of my absolute favorite decks from my high school days, Karakuri, felt like the deck I played the most in Yu-Gi-Oh! It also helped that I had an ultimate rare copy I pulled. Uh, Beret, specifically, just shows up every so often. And I'm always like, oh, God, this guy's still around. He's never been used for anything fair, but he's always been used for something incredible. Oh, no. I want more people to like my silly penguin guys. I love Ice Jade Gimmer A Grind. I love watching Runic Player Scoop when I chain her to Fountain and banish it. Folks, the Gims always wins. Goopy Freak. Not only my favorite Synchro Monster, but my favorite card in general. I even got an OC drawn as him. <laughs> That's This is dedication. Holy shit. Who else? Take him to the deep beyond. I appreciate you cut the thumb off here so as to not interfere with his glorious visage. Have to give it to our boy Gay Derg. He's no gay bulge. I just like this guy. You know, I remember back when I was building that... Mecha Phantom Beast Aurorodon Turbo deck, in which I used Aurorodon not as a setup play in another series of cards like Eldritch, but as like the focal point of a deck. I was playing this card because it had seven access, and every time it came up, I was like, this card's crazy. Like, why is no one playing this shit? But notably, I did end up cutting him eventually. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. My favorite part about Every was playing her in Duel Links in a deck that wasn't Fortune Lady. Uh, so if you haven't played Duel Links, you probably don't know this, but this card was DPE in that format for like months. The Black Rose Dragons, they are beautifully drawn. Their effects uh, gave them time in the sun for years. Moonlight even saw some use in Control Blue Eyes to summon Crystal Wing off of Spirit Dragon's effect. Uh, yes, it was a very popular play, but um, really funny. I just unprivated all my old 10-minute testings from back in the day, and the first one I watched is up against an opponent who, like, uses Synchron Monsters to summon this card and pass. It's like, wow, Yu-Gi-Oh! players will stop at nothing to play my anime boss. Oh, it's just beautiful.
And then, I don't know. He is an interesting card, though. Freeze! You Makanko players don't know how good you have it. You know, we used to have to work for this effect. Gotta be my boy Shien. Playing six samurai post Storm of Ragnarok was a trip. Shien is a really cool card to be behind. Not a great card to be in front of. Michael. It's your birthday today. Judgment Dragon is on his way. And Michael. You have been a good boy this year. This, this card is so mid. Have to pay homage to one of the best extra deck monsters of all time in both Duel Links and the TCG. You know the crazy thing about Bryo is that he is still not bad. He is still not bad. <clears throat> Back in the day, obviously, back in the day, obviously he was broken to hell. But I was playing a deck that just incidentally had six access recently, and I was thinking, I was like, "Well, what if I just jam Bryo in here?" There's some hands. Vylon Omega. Why? Only the DT04 version. Correct! I enjoy Tango Plant, and this is the best extra deck card. You know, this card comes in maximum cold. <laughs> Who's out here playing Mago Trish? I saw Bonds Beyond Time in theaters with my best friend when we were nine, and I've been in love with the Malefic archetype ever since, man. Nine when BBT came out? I don't even remember 9-11. Another individual who has made self-ship art with a synchro monster. If I had a nickel, I would have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird it happened twice. Is this Query Andriax? That card is pretty fuck. It's pretty fucking cool. Mmm, oh. good times. No. When I was younger, no one knew how to buy cards, so all I had was a beat the hell up RDA an older kid gave to me that was taped together to the point where the entire card was covered in tape. I just have memories of it as the only synchro I had. You know, in terms of the only synchro you had, RDA, it ain't bad. Um, I know this is a joke thread, but I'm going to give a sincere answer. I will always have a soft spot for this guy. He was one of the first synchro monsters I successfully summoned, and I have a record of him in one of my first decks back when I wrote them out in Google Docs. Oh, fuck. This is tight. Play this list. We'll play this list for uh for Pegasus. Oh man. Won quite a few matches in high school with this. Would equip it with three double tool C and D and beat my brother. 
Yeah. Oh, man. It may have had to go, but damn if this wasn't a good one. You know, Chaos Ruler was far and away <laughs> the most broken synchro monster they have ever printed. And the worst part about this card is that he was so goddamn fun to play. This was maybe one of the most fun cards ever printed. I The whole time you played with him, you knew your time was limited. You knew someday he would have to go. But damn if I didn't enjoy that time. The more I've grinded Edison, the more Thought Ruler found itself in every deck I play that can make it. It's weird. Thought Ruler was good and was sort of canonized as one of the first of a wave of good synchro monsters, but it always felt like it took a backseat to Stardust. As targeting removal has become more prevalent in formats like Edison, sometimes I'm just making this guy. I'm just I'm just going in. I'm like, what is that? A prison? Let's go. This guy's great. Why is nobody else picking the twink? We hate him. We don't like this guy. Mm. Oh, Crystal Wing, my beloved. On release, it fixed every issue OG Clearwing had. It was ran all over the place with a Wind Witch package. And then they released Borlo Dragon. Chungus! Sword Soul being my favorite deck makes it easy to like Big Chungus, but the fact that it necessitates running varying forms of removal or playing around banish effects when they could have just plastered a negate on it and called it a day makes me love him even more. Oh! Drill Warrior the goat to this day. Junk Archer also a goat, but Drill Warrior the goat. God, what a fun card. Uh, fuck off. All right, I'm going to start being choosy. Smugly slapping this guy down against someone who has no outs is an unbeatable feeling, especially against Master Duel players who don't read cards. It is just so enjoyable to be able to play a long game against an opponent that goes back and forth for what feels like years, only to be like, and now, with the last remaining monsters on my field, pep in the battle phase for 15 billion attack. <laughs> I like this one. Um, these were available with, from like a, uh, it was like a special pack, right? DPCT. Duelist pack tins. Yeah. Oh, they're ejecting all right. I remember we purchased the Duelist Pack. I remember we purchased the Duelist Pack tins when I was growing up, and as a result, we just had these random terrible synchros. Frozen Fitzgerald, I think, was supposed to be a dark synchro, yeah. Um, and getting to summon this in raccoons with Junk Warrior was pretty cool, even if it was a bad Armades. I have a soft spot in my heart for this card as well. What are you haunting? It's a child. It's called Card Ejector. It's ejecting. Ejector is the name of the card. Card ejector is a child. Yeah. I don't. What do you? What do you all huh? I legitimately don't understand what the high is. <clears throat> This guy was my personality for the first year I played Yu-Gi-Oh! And we'll keep scrolling. 
Omega! Omega does so much. I really do love unique forms of destruction that aren't just negate. And it was cool how almost a Stardust-like effect where it would sack itself then come back later. Cool ass design. Always felt good to activate. Always loved summoning him. The crazy part about Omega is that every one of his effects is insanely good. Ugh, when they limited this card, it was a damn shame. But it was important because otherwise people were going to use Unizombie to make a whole bunch of this guy and just rip your whole hand out turn one. Eh. I think we all have a monster like this. Yes, it's bad, but it's mine. Quasar, one of the iconic synchro monsters. I love that this card is just one Omni. That they were like, yeah, pay through the nose for this baby. And people did. They were excited to. Everyone loves Gims is what I'm learning here. Golgar. Aliens is my main deck for Edison. I love summoning Golgar, looping Code A, Swords, Fiendish Chain, popping cards pretty much for free, and that Golgar can just casually run over Stardust for no reason. Uh, they need it. Uh, unfortunately, it's not enough. They need it. Ah! There we go. Oh. Cataster. My beloved Cataster. How many years have I been summoning Cataster? That was wrong. There's the cold rare Trish. White. White. Hmm. I think Son Goku Super Saiyan Blue is fine. But, yeah, you're right. The rest of the Super Saiyan cards are pretty bad. Shen Shen is such a nice card. Do you understand how fun you have to make a card? For me to enjoy playing against Macro Cosmos. It's beautiful. It looks great in secret. The effect is incredible. Just takes over the game immediately. I just love him. I just love him. I love him. I love him. I love him. Fuck this guy. Fuck her. Um. A lot of gims. People love games. This is... Whoa! You cannot beat the original Power Tool Dragon. He is my friend. Buddy, you gotta take better care of your friends here. Nah, I will say, sometimes you see a card like this and you just think, uh, that is a that is a well-loved piece of cardboard. This, this Power Tool Dragon has seen epochs pass before him. That card is end sold. Oh, yeah. This card is functionally a Horcrux. Wait, what's the non-transphobic version of that? This card is functionally a phylactery. That was wrong. You know, I'm realizing people really only like the same eight or nine cards over and over again. Okay, I think we hit all the all the hits here. See if there's anything ridiculous I'm missing. Who the fuck said Urzikwius? Someone's gotta like him. It's like Pokemon. Every Pokemon is someone's favorite Pokemon, right? And every Synchro Monster is someone's favorite Synchro Monster. Yeah. This, this one got out of hand. I didn't realize how many people were just gonna post a Synchro Monster. Oh! Someday. Someday we are going to get this guy in a meta deck. It might be the new tri-type. This guy's got... He's almost Chaos Ruler.
Thank you all so much for thank you all so much for a hundred amazing Twitter threads. I promise from here on out, they're only gonna get worse. <laughs> Streamer, click my link. I'll click all these links. Yay. Next week, favorite exes. Going fast makes me feel alive. Dark. Exodia. Despy and Lulu will a lith. All right, I'm deleting this one too. I don't want this shit on my profile. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, everybody. Five best words in Yu-Gi-Oh, baby. Unaffected by other cards effects. How did no one post Baron? Baron. Soulless card. All right. Uh, uh. That's going to be it for the Yu-Gi-Oh! portion of the stream. Thank you all so much for sticking around. I really appreciate it. I know we started a little bit late today, but I'm glad we got pretty much everything done. If you want more Yu-Gi-Oh! Apparently, I'm going to be a part of Danny's stream tomorrow, in which I'm going to play a little bit of Pegasusy Challenge. I'm going to be at YCS Vegas this weekend. That's going to be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If you are going to YCS Vegas, feel free to stop by, say hi, get some shit signed, whatever you want to do. I will be streaming Monday. I don't know if I'll be streaming Tuesday. I may be taking Tuesday off, but I will be streaming Monday. Same bat time, same bat channel. Until then. Uh, let's play a little The Binding of Isaac. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Hey, Leah. Um, well, thanks for stopping by, Leah Raiders. I know what you're thinking. I can't wait to watch more Joseph playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, unfortunately, you're not going to see that shit. It's the time of the night that we like to take off, Isaac. cool down, and jam a little The Binding of Isaac. Why don't you open your minds, chat, to the possibility that there's a second game that's playable on God's Green Earth. If you're unfamiliar with Binding of Isaac, it's a roguelike. That means it's nothing like Rogue. Uh, we're going to be playing a character called Tainted Bethany as we fight through the basement. Tainted Bethany's gimmick is that she can't get red hearts. She uses them to fire her pocket item, the Le Megaton. We're going to hit R until we get a good item room. What's the percent on achievements? I don't know. How's this, um, how's this audio, by the way? She stole my hair. This is exactly what Leah looks like. I've met Leah in real life, by the way, and she looks exactly like this. Oh, tarot cloth is crazy. All right, so what we're actually missing on this, as you can see, is uh, the speed ones. So we're going to try and speed run this. And in order to do that, sometimes you have to take productive damage like I did right there. Can you go to the Vegas YCS? I actually already asked her. I was like, are you going to the Vegas YCS? And she was like, no. Uh, and I said, go to hell. I said, fuck you. Oh, he's popping off. No, we lost Tarot Cloth. I needed that. Tears down. That's what we want to see. Ah, what the heck? I have half a mind to just lay on R here. If we don't get a good item from the boss room, I will do so. I'm going to do so anyway. We got to get to boss rush, which means we need to beat mom. Oh, we should have kept that one in, uh, in 15 minutes. I could really fuck up a basement XL as well. If we just, if we run into, ooh, let's just, oh, wow. Really promising start here. Odd Mushroom is great. Holy shit. Oh my god, we're getting fucked up in this room. What? Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Whoa, what the fuck was that? No. Uh, no. 
Is external item descriptions broken, by the way? What's going on here? I'm holding till XL. There we go. Okay. He's washed legitimately. Ah. Usually I'm much better. I've gotten pretty good at Tainted Bethany, just like not taking random damage for no reason. Sister Maggie, that's pretty good early. Ooh, that's pretty good too. Holy shit, that's incredible. Another one? Nope. Can't all be winners. Whoa! Can't believe we didn't take damage there. Dad's Key. Wow, that's a really interesting one to get. Uh, I guess theoretically this could be the... um. I thought it could be our uh, our secret room. We're going to use Dad's key super aggressively to see if we can't find secret rooms. Wow, this room sucks. Hurry up, please. Oh, I thought it would just open that. I guess I'm stupid. Ooh, I really want a bomb. Okay, we'll come back here for the bomb. Don't forget that that room has crazy shit in it. Oh, that was unnecessary. Should you make your camera smaller, please? Absolutely not. I definitely should. I'll have I'll have a good setup for this next week. Ideally. Oh, well, guess we don't have to use Dad's key. Make it bigger? All right, if you insist. I wasn't gonna, but I mean, if you insist, I will. Oh, money. Folks, we love money. Ar money, 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 money. So Dad's key doesn't open locked chests is what I'm hearing. Ooh, that's nice. Um Insane. Crazy. I don't really want anything there. Pokey goes kind of mid. Just doors. That's fine. Wait! Dad's key opens Boss Rush and Hush. Doesn't it? No. All right, fuck. Alright, we'll, we'll just we'll run it. We're still on pace. You're thinking of Mega Satan, and I'm thinking of Mama Mega. I am. You're right. I'm thinking of Mama Mega. <laughs> Lying. Oh, that was nice. Ooh, Midas Touch. We actually just had Midas Touch on a previous run. I like Midas Touch a great deal, actually. Ag! Ag! Fuck. We lost something there. Oh. All right, good. Right on time, asshole. Stapler. We'll take stapler. Oh my god, this guy's an asshole. Holy shit. Can we do a can we do a, a line that doesn't make an ad, please? We could just go crazy with minus touch here. Yeah, let's do that. We took damage in the process because we lost uh, and we lost stapler. This is so annoying. Stop spawning guys, please. Oh my god, that was annoying. Brainworm. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, come on. That was bullshit. Hey, okay, Brainworm is broken, so we've got something going for us now. Oh, my God. We're getting cooked. Waiter, waiter, more damage sponges, please. Tell me about it. Couldn't we get, like, Larry Jr.? Don't kill my friend. Sorry, buddy. We got an active already. I 
ain't gonna lie, we can cook. Brainworm is the chaos ruler of Isaac. They'll never nerf Brainworm. Uh, no reason to ever do Satan here. Um, we can take Ankh. So there's no reason to. Uh, I'm gonna full clear just because I think we have time. No, that was not correct. All right, ready? I'm just gonna eyeball where it is. Ready? This is the super secret. Nope. This is a super secret. Whoo, got it. Uh, no thanks. No. Flooded one. Alright, so we have to get to mom and kill her in 20 minutes. Oh my god, come on! We are really low on health. That's just the tainted Bethany story, though. Especially early. Oh my god, that was so that was so bad. Why am I so bad at this game? Is external off? No, it's just broken. I don't want to pause stream to fix it. This is a rough one. Holy shit. Really rough one. Okay, that wasn't exactly what I wanted. Runs Jover. I'm feeling that way for sure. Oh, this is going to be a real fun room. Are you having fun? Not really. Now I'm having fun. No quality for Wisp. Can these rooms? Holy shit. What is going on? Oh no, it's over. It's so over. Holy shit. I'm I'm just gonna run in here. I think the only scenario where we win is we just like get an early angel room and we just lay on La Megaton. Oh, we're probably dead right here. Yeah. Oh! Watch me swoosh right in there. Oh. for another XL floor here. Where are you trying to go? Boss rush. Why are we pressing R? Good question. Uh, so if we get an XL floor, we can take out two floors in the time it usually takes to do one floor. Maybe a little longer. And that puts us in a great position to make it to the time-gated boss rush floors. The black bean. That's the one I want, actually. This is an interesting start. This is an interesting start. The 1% planetarium. If you insist. One-time Uranus. One-time Neptunus. Black Bean kind of carrying here. <sighs> Annoying. Imagine no keys. We'll get keys. We got time. Terra? Oh, please, Terra. Oh, there's a key. Can we get one of these spiders to explode on the key? Come on. That was wrong. Apparently not. Ah. Uh. Oh, this room is going to take a year. Ooh, chase this guy over there. Come here. Hey. 
There's a key. All right, come on. Get me out of here. Yes. Holy shit. Run over. All right, now we just have to not throw. Run legitimately over. So it's about a 50-50. Yeah, it's a 50-50, yeah. No, but I'm here for the throws. I'm... I will do my best. Bombs are key. Speed down. Good. Always take pills. Remember. Remember, chat. Always take pills. We are at 8.88 speed. That's what you want on a guy. Or a girl. Speed down is part one of the throw. Here's part two. Quality four. Wow. That's pretty good. And the other item room is right here. What are we working with? Uh, okay. Tiny Toma. Let's go. Now just don't get hit, forehead. If we get hit, we could swap to speed. We might want that. In fact, any of the purities are really good for us. Where the fuck is the secret room? No, the item descriptor isn't working. Sorry. I'll burn it. Damn. Thought I'd have more. We'll come back for the battery. Terra can open secret rooms, right? Then what? PhD. Holy shit. Oh, we gotta never we gotta never lose that. This one is going a little better than the previous Ragman, I will admit. Binky. Binky's so crazy. Next up. This guy. Kill him. Shoot him in the head. Get him with your rock blast. Okay, we don't go in Satan. Okay, uh, we don't have enough monies for anything. How did we not find any of the secret rooms? Am I crazy? How did that happen? Oh, we blew up that dono for nothing. Check him PC. It is not regular. Okay, binge eater is kind of a weird one, but it, it's still good. Oh, come on. Now you're just rubbing it in. Black market? Oh, okay. Still, still crazy good. That was the normal secret. So super secret remains un unlocated. Enough for battery? Yeah, we're gonna go get battery. Ooh, almost through there. Watch timer. Uh, don't worry. We can basically just blaze through the remainder of these uh these floors. Now that we have a, a Q4. All right, guess we're not going to find super secret. That's fine. Okay, so if you're unfamiliar with Binge Eater does, it makes every item you pick up have the option to be a health item. 
when you pick up a health item, it gives you a very small speed down. I think it's 0 0.01. Um, and it gives you, a, I think, a random stat up. Uh, it's insane. It's really good. Speed up with the PhD! Now, usually Binge Eater is a little better because it all, like, when you take a health item, it also heals you for two. That doesn't happen to us because we are not a character that can get red health. Still good. Oh. Wait, what? Why did I lose all that damage? Oh, I got purity. That was my first hit since purity. All right, what are we puritying into? Tears? I'll take tears. Tears on Terra is not bad. Ah, we were supposed to concuss those guys. Whoops. Each item is a different stat up, and we lost tears. And we lost PhD. Well, at least we got that speed up before we lost PhD. Wow, this guy sucks. Hello? Hit him? Hello? Hit him? Thank you. Uh, we got speed again. Speed's pretty good on purity. Free money. We'll take Gish. I'm Gishing out here. Oh, do we get dessert instead of Gish? That's fine. Uh, I prefer <laughs> dessert instead of Gish. Gish, not great. I That's the other thing is I always forget I have Binge Eater. The second I get it, it just immediately leaves my field of vision. I'm like, oh, right, Binge Eater. Whoops. Please die. Thank you. Uh, Piggy Bank is an interesting item. Uh, I will take the health. Binge Eater Blind is not so bad because it always leads on the old item, if I recall correctly. So, I think you can time it. I might be wrong, though. Polly! Holy shit! Alright, we are now playing a different kind of game. Oh my god, we missed caffeine pill there. Fuck. Soul Locket. Soul Locket's crazy for this character. And let's kill this guy too. Speaking of Soul Locket. That doesn't flip. Boo. Uh, well, shit. I think we just keep moving. Mm. Use the Megaton in Angel Room. I was so excited, I forgot. And now it's closed. We will get an Angel Room again. Oh, who said Binge Eater Curse of the Unknown? We're now living the dream. This is a very dangerous room for us with the Poly Terra. Trying to throw a one run is crazy. I gotta keep things... I gotta keep y'all on your toes. Scary. I'm looking for the mush. I know it's here. Uh-oh. No, not Polly! I need Polly! Thank you. We lost something. Lacry. Lacry Polly. Uh-oh. That could be really interesting. 
Wow, that's that's about to be very strange. Ah, uh, come on. Oh man. That was wrong. Uh We're on a time crunch here, chat. I don't I Oh. Uh, Oh, wait. <laughs> Oops. Just a small teleport there. Nothing. God, my brain just fucking explodes when I'm on time. Ah! We need to get rid of this lacquery. This is, uh, things are not going so hot. Cool amount of money. Don't forget Terra can also break doors. We will not be playing a single womb at all. Alright, what are we hoping for here? The angel room, right? So we can lay on on Lamegaton. We can go devils too, if a devil opens up. This is almost a 50 to just open something. <laughs> Don't like half hit him. Lacquery is such an interesting item. Nothing. Oh, awesome. Well. Still looking for item room. Curse of the Unknown, do I really give a fuck about an item room? Yes, I do. God, nothing on this guy. We should have taken dinner. What's the difference? Wait, what did I what did I just get? Tiny planet? Oh my god, immaculate heart? Holy shit. Where's the fucking item room? What's going on here? This is a big floor. I was unprepared for this. There's the item room. Please explode and kill everyone in here except for me. Oh, they're doing a pretty good job of that, actually. Come here. Oh, not... I wanted multi. Oh, there it is. We got the red room. Something. Magneto. I'll take breakfast. We're getting very slow here. We'll hold for a little bit. Ooh, we got speed up off that. Sick. Marbles is interesting. You really want to throw sometimes? Sometimes. All right, 13 minutes. Okay, what do we, um... Dank Depths 1. Okay, this one is almost guaranteed. That we have access to either a Devil Floor or an Angel Floor. Come here. We're just gonna go, by the way. Oh my god. Fuck off. <laughs> Tearing through that one. Six minutes to clear two floors. That's way more than enough. Especially with Terra. Have we still not lost? Oh, we lost Lackey right there. Thank God. That was a real problem. There we go. Oh my God. These guys are awful. That was our purity proc too. Annoying. I hate these guys so fucking much. Ace of Spades. 
Okay, we marbled our previous trinket, so... We even had one. Metal plate. You got it. Uh, which way? Nope. Uh, uh-oh. We're just in the wrong direction in general. Come here. Where the fuck are we going? What? Wait, how is this a dead end? Hold up. I'm like legitimately flummoxed. Go up, I guess. Oh, we got tears. Tears is crazy, I think. I think tears is the optimal purity for us. So let's just never get hit again. How's that sound? Here's the item room. Oh, did we lose Polly? We did. That's fine. Book of Sin. Okay, we don't need that, so. We're getting very slow. Need a speed up. Thank God. Ah, oh, it's like the one room I didn't need this to happen in. Great. How am I even gonna get to that guy? Come here. Wake up. Wake up. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is so annoying. I gotta re-clear this room because it didn't clear. Oh my god. Three minutes on this last room. I'm really gonna throw. I can't believe it. This is so crazy. You can skip every room, man. I'm gonna try my hardest. Awesome. Okay, we're fucking gunning it. That's crazy. Not this way. Perhaps this way. Did we get 2020? There, I cleared a room. It's gotta be through here. Thank you. One minute, see, that's all it took. Whoo! No, thank you. Can we also get an angel room, please? I would really appreciate that. 62 for an angel room. We're getting something for sure. We did get an angel room. Uh, negative. We can't get that yet. Eucharist. If you insist. We have about a minute to get both these guys. I think we will. They're both Uriel. Come on. We need to take productive damage here so we can get the soul heart proc on the way out. Productive damage. Okay, that was too much productive damage. That was too much damage. All right, let's lay on that Megaton. Okay, I don't know what we got, but I hope it was good. 
We seem very fast now. Okay, what are we trying to get here? Ooh, tomato is pretty good. What do you think about tomato? I think good. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, we got marked. Oh, fuck. Uh, okay, hold up. I got... I got marked controls on. Whoa, shit. Okay, so this is not good. Uh, but also, we are insanely strong. I'm not gonna lie. Get back here, asshole. Oh! Okay. Oh! Oh, we got circle. Why was everybody saying book, by the way? What book did we get? Book of Moon. Let's go. Get hit once to trigger milk. I will not. I'll get hit later. Probably by this guy. We are so fucking crazy strong. Hey, it's Peeps. My favorite will of the council host. And now he's dead. Oh, you were you were reminding me to use Lamegaton. I see. Ooh, that's sick. That's a soul heart proc. We got damage off that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Monstro 2. We got to get him first because he can jump, costing us precious seconds. We seem pretty unkillable at this point, but I'm willing to try. Halo of flies. That's insane. More defensive items. That's milk. No, that's not milk. That's holy water. Come here, Uriel. I just got this motherfucker. Yeah, I'm feeling like this could go all the way. Ugh, we have too many hearts. We can't get the soul heart procs. Come here. Oh my god. We got something there. Who... Why is he not waking up? There we go. One more. Bloody Lust. That's a cool one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we procced milk! This guy's an asshole. Shoop de whoop. I will take the health. We got damage off that. All right. Next up. Uh, 25, right? How do we get to hush? 25 or 30? This stayed open. Tech X. Holy sh... That was pretty good. Did you see that? Tech X, comma, Sacred Heart in sequence. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Oh, boy. We definitely have 2020 in here somewhere, too. Speed up. What is the head? We got death's list? He will find a way, I believe. Bookworm! Bookworm progress! What's endgame now the boss rush is done? Uh, so we're actually trying to get three marks on this run. Uh, we're going to do boss rush, and then if we can get through the next two floors in seven minutes. Cool. We can go fight Hush, which is another time boss. And then Hush opens up a guaranteed portal to Delirium. And we are going to go crazy with the red key on the Delirium floor. I'm going to tell you that. We don't really get a chance to here because we're pressured for time. Stop clearing floors and just use Terra. I actually don't know if if Terra procs anymore. 
Does Tech-X override Terra? Test it? Oh, maybe. Uh, okay. Old Bandage or... Take Old Bandage? Why not? Oops. Did not mean to do that, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I guess I want Celtic Cross. It's not so bad. None of that helped. Anyway, for those of you asking why I'm full clearing, because we got time, baby. Yeah, I can't I can't blow through rooms anymore, apparently, it looks like. Oh wow. They're trying to make me late. Enticing me with the chest. Okay, it actually does not do much here. Come on. He can't throw, but he could totally beef the time. Yeah, I think this is unthrowable from this position, but I could very much beef the time. Uh, let's keep moving. I'm a huge Tech X denier. I actually do not like Tech X at all. I think it's a, a way, way overrated item. Jocker! Ooh, we will have fun with the Jocker. Not this second, though. I want to I wanna amass a bunch of uh, Lamegaton charges first. Tech X, listen, let me, let me phrase this correctly. Tech X is an insane item, but it is not an automatic one run winner. And unlike almost every other quality for it has like no synergies whatsoever. So it's not that fun to play with. Like here it's insane because we have homing, we have sacred heart. But they're all and the other thing about Tech Tech X is it's one of the items that scales negatively with shot speed. So, like, you're always trying to increase your shot speed. I mean, it's not super important, but, like, good items increase your shot speed, and then you pick up a Tech X, and it's like, just kidding, all that shit that you did was actually bad, and now your build sucks. Range down. Okay, I don't think that matters. All right, we got mega time. Mega Mondo time. Is that another Jonker? No. Two of spades is crazy. All right. Good fight. Another angel room, if you insist. Uh, what do we want here? Trinity shield? Yeah, probably. Go hard in the uh, delirium fight. Infestation 2. Holy fuck. Get ready, Hush. You have Eucharist? Oh, <laughs> right. That's what we picked up last time. Uh, okay. Oops. Did not see what that was. We will take the damage here. Does Jonker do anything on this floor? Uh, Mom's wig, I guess? There it is. Ugh. <sighs> Health down. Oh, no. Uh, I'm going to take this guy for... I think he's BL's above progress. I could be wrong. Oh, shit. Let's do Jonker, then. Hey, I will take... Oh, no! I'm so stupid. Holy fuck. I was so excited for that item. Uh, we just wanted the, uh, we wanted the lunch. Diplopia. Nah, come on. You can't show that to me this late in the run. Nah, I don't think so. Oh, yuck. Uh, Quince is conjoined. Sure. All right. 
Oh, Soul of Apollyon. Soul of Apollyon. That's what I'm saying. Judgment. Hold up. This could go crazy. Fanny pack. It didn't go crazy. This is going, um, well. All right, remember, you have to kill him in this order for death's list reasons. Oh, Quince went nuts. Look, three Quince already. We are, we are pretty strong. Oh, marked myself off the screen here. This is, um, this is going okay. Hmm. Oh, we actually have to stop this attack very early. Uh, because we do not want, we, we do not want all of our wisps to go away. We need those. Oh, and we lost Sacred Heart. Uh-oh. That is a huge problem. Oh, we lost something. We're losing a couple things here. That's okay. We're still busted as fuck. Ooh. Okay. Perfection! Do we pick up perfection? We do, right? I'm trying to get it out of the... Uh, Trying to get it out of there. Get out of there. What the fuck? There we go. Stapler. I feel like we already had stapler. What did Sacred Heart do? Quadruple our damage and give us homing. Like, not. it's not that big of a deal. Perfection's crazy, though. We have a lot of luck-based multipliers and things. All right, we're just going to enter every red room as well. Isn't Godhead better than Sacred Heart? I don't think so. We can't kill this guy. What the fuck? He's up. He's up. Kill him. Oh, thank God. There's a red room. We're going like all the way up. Eventually. We can get Brim Baby off Quince? What the fuck? Since when? Ooh, the sun's pretty cool. No, not Ludo! Wait, okay, thank God. Something in my build overrides Ludo. Uh, we are lagging just a little bit. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm actually a Ludo truther, but not for this build. <laughs> tech X overrides it, even though all other techs don't. I feel like the tech brimstone, I remember there being a controllable tech brimstone. Tech W, as it were. Can you please stop? You're right, I, I can turn off marked. Thank you, chat. Oh, that's interesting. All right. Uh, we'll try for the Bob transformation. I think we're one off. Oh, we'll take Blood Puppy for sure. Huge Blood Puppy enjoyer. Wow, this perfection luck is doing a lot of work for us. I'm not going to lie. Oh, okay. 
All right, what do we think in chat? Either of these delirium? Nope. Not this one. Uh, I'll take matchbook, sure. Oh no! We got owned by something. And we got marbles as well. Mom's contacts. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nine volt here is insane. Yeah, that perfection was going to last until our first mushroom room, being completely honest. What the hell is going on? Why is it working like this? I'm like way far up in terms of curate. There's no way to tell if it's real or satire. Thanks to Pose Law. Got him. Okay, uh, what's next? Please wake up. Kill him. How can we not fly at this point? That's what I'm asking. Like, what the fuck? Give me, like, the third Beelzebub piece or something. Jesus. What is this? That's not a red room either? Wow. Terra should break those guys? That's what I'm saying. That's I'm all. You know what I'm actually saying all the time is that Terra isn't strong enough. They need to make Terra stronger. No red room. What the fuck? Where are the red rooms? I'm taking all that money. Okay. Uh, okay. Still no red rooms. Still no red rooms. There's a red room. It's a puzzle. I don't fucks with no puzzles. Speed down pill. I'm good. Uh. Oh, hello. Okay, I'll take mystery sack. Chaos. Wow. Uh, uh oh. Late for chaos, but sure. There's always time for chaos. Fuck. Stop. We're actually way down on wisps. We have very few remaining. Bad grass. What's this one? Tears up? Sure. What the fuck was that? Huh? What? What on earth was that? We're way off map now. What the fuck is going on? <gasps> we lost circle of protection. Fuck. Oh, I really actually did need that for the delirium fight. Uh-oh. Oh, what what the fuck? Wait. We lost Mark too. Jesus. Oh god, we're playing normal again. Wait. Oh my god, it's Ludo. Holy shit, it's Ludo. Right. Fuck.
how do we get rid of Ludo? Can anyone identify where Ludo is in a swimming circle? Oh, it's that one right there. Okay, I think we can actually get rid of Ludo. Actually found the line to throwing. Yeah, we are going to have to get rid of Ludo if we want to not lose this. You still have Wafer with full health? Don't doubt me. Okay, Ludo's actually fucking broken. Not for a boss that teleports? I don't recall asking you. Where do we get all these fucking spiders from? Wait, where are the where is delirium? Wait, I see delirium. I think. Mom's wig, wig. As it were. Maybe this way? Oh, did we lose Ludo? Yeah, let's go, baby. Okay. Now we're ready. Fruitcake? Uh-oh. Oh, we found the ultra secret, too. Wait, what? Oh, it's this way. Oh my god, it's the error. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. Oh, god. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah, that's a speed up, so we'll take that. Wait, so... We haven't found the red... We haven't found the red room yet. Like the red item room. We've mostly scoured the entire place. Let's just go clear Delirium real quick before we get Ludo back or something. That was the red room? Are you sure? You're going to get stuck in air room? That was the air room, I thought. Don't go in the red room. Come on. Well, this is a great opportunity to get Flight. Do we want Flight or Star of Bethlehem? Bethlehem breaks the tier limit, so I think we want star. Be nice if we could get a couple of them. And now we have to wait for star, though. I can spend some time scouring while we're doing that. Oh, shit. We can go back in there and fire the Megaton a million times as well. Ooh, we should do that. Ooh, that sounds really good, actually. Do we still have chaos? Ooh, we do have... Oh, we must have lost chaos. Yeah, because those were all angel items. Let's speed down. Explosivo. Didn't want that. Candy heart. Dead onion. Compass. There's options. Those were all insane. Okay, come on, Star. We're waiting on you. That's got to be it. That's where that's where Star is going. Um, 
Wow, we still haven't found the red secret room. That's crazy. Gotta wait for the spikes to go down here. It's just money. You did? No, we didn't. I, I refuse to believe it. It was blood bag? No, that was the error room. I refuse to believe it. Is that fucking star done yet? Bloody gust. A little late on that. It's almost there. You know, let's just go in. We'll, we'll meet the star inside. Oh! Ah! Okay, Explosivo is actually doing a, a pretty good job here. I did not realize that would happen. Oh my god. Wow. Star! Star, you're going crazy! Wow, star is a pretty good item. I will say the teleporting is a lot easier to deal with when... When you have Explosivo, because you can see where he is. Oh! Where'd he go? We've lost most of our, uh, our wisps here. But I think most of our damage is just in the actual items that we have. And in the star? Ow, fuck. Alright. All our shit is gone. Yeah, we actually finally lost Marked there at the very end. All right. And that's uh, that's every Mark as well. Terra's broken. Mm. Le Megaton. We'll do Greedier on our own time. Uh, Greedier is not very interesting. Thank you all for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Exclamation mark socials in the chat if you want to follow me on my YouTube where I upload funny Yu-Gi-Oh! Ha-Has, my Twitter where I write funny Yu-Gi-Oh! Ha-Has, our Discord where we all get together and plan funny Yu-Gi-Oh! Ha-Has, or my Patreon where, of course, you can get advance notice when I'm ha ha -ing. I'll be back Monday, 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 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll be doing the huge. And if you're on YCS Vegas this weekend, I will be there. So come say hi. Um, get some shit signed. Tell me you love the Farfa. Uh, let me see who I can throw you over to. Um, I'll throw you over to Miwa. Tell her who sent you. See you Monday.